Okay. Oh, crap. I think this is on just chatting. It's copy here. Let's play the Is My Stream Deck Working game. Oh, is it not? I said nobody. I still have to do that thing where I restart uh, a stream deck whenever I start OBS because it does not connect. Oh. I said I'm nobody. <clears throat> Man, he's a big, ugly boy, isn't he? Yeah. Is he wearing a bunch of garbage bags, like a robe? He might be. Are they body bags or garbage bags? Like, what are they? They're like black. I feel like it might be leather. Is it leather? I mean, it's... Why? For fun. Like, I'm like, oh, always with Resident Evil stuff like that, right? Where I'm like, did 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 somebody make him that? Yes. Were they like, all right, we just can't have our boy go out naked or, you know, wearing like a rag or something. So I'm going to I'm going to handcraft leather that fits him. Like, I'm going to I'm going to take measurements while we've got him chained up or whatever. And they're crazy enough to do it. Go through, go through his fucking inseam or whatever. They're like, yeah. OK. <laughs> now we'll craft him at. Mr. X had a hat. Yeah, I mean, that I can see. Because that's not, like, tailored specifically to him, you know? I mean, it like, was a big hat. He has a big head. Right, that's fine. I'm just saying, like, somebody could find a large hat and put well, it on him, you know? But still, that's a little weird that they're like, no, 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 he needs a hat. <laughs> and they put it on him to... There is but lore at least for that. It's not, yeah, it's not tailoring clothes. It's not like, and it's not even like, they didn't even make a full, you know what I mean? It's not like they put pants or a hat on him. They were like, like, look at this thing. It's like weird strips up his arms. It's like, it's like leather wrappings, right? And then he's got like an arm gauntlet thing. But then on his on his like chest, it's kind of like toga esque. It's like a cross between like a toga and like a like a bathrobe, but out of leather. Yeah, typically with um, with tyrants clothing. Uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, Lily, what are you doing, Lily? Hey, Nick. Hey, Osiria. Hey, Nat. How is everyone doing tonight? We are finishing off Resident Evil 3 Remake. We were we were uh, gonna do some phasmophobia, but some some shit happened with the de with the devs, so we're not doing that. We're gonna do this instead. We're gonna we're gonna finish off this story. Kind of tired, but decent. You're describing how the week has gone, Osiria. Yeah, it feels like one of those weeks, you know. Yeah, I hope you're having a good day too, Skinner. Hello. Good, Nick. That's good. That's good. Oh, those of you surviving, sorry about that. Edward is being a shit. Yeah. Old oh man, Nat, your your meat that you cooked last night was bad, so I'm not Thanks eating so that much. again. That's probably a good you call. Yeah, me. make some new dinner. <laughs> so you made it this far. Old thank you for 57 full months. 
I don't remember you think much about what well, wow. 57. No, you know what? 57 is the song or strong but silent type. It understands. It's there when you need it. Braxis, thank you for 16 full months. Currently looking for a job. It's making me sad and angry. You got this. It's not my birthday. So I was, uh, yeah. go ahead. Nah, I was just going to say, Nick, yeah, we, yeah, we decided not to. Yeah. Hey, Monty. Thanks so much. Hello, Monty. Skinner, thank you for five months of crime. Hold on. I gotta, you're going to say it's like, oh, host is doing something in a minute. Yeah. I need to get rid of, oh, I can't get rid of the boost train thing. It's just covering up like half your chat. That's cool. <laughs> Good. Very, you're gonna have to screenshot your OBS for me later. I want to see how it's set up. Sure. But, um, I was. Oh, right. So, Tyrant's clothing. Um, what the heck? Jesus, bullet harrier. Thank you for hitting Dojo right in the face. Turn down that volume a little bit. My, there we go. All right. Sorry, I forgot to reply. You made those hostess cupcakes, Lily, but you had batter, so you made a very small cake that my grandma frosted. How did it turn out? Hopefully delicious. What was wrong with Phasma? It was just a, uh, you can look at, we're, we'll, we'll not do a like big discussion tonight, I don't think, but uh, it was just a, a shitty situation with an admin from their Discord who was not an employee, and then an employee jumped in later, and it was also a shitty situation, and the company itself didn't respond well. It was just a whole big mess yeah um can be boiled down at least for me to people being shitheads and uh it's not really wanting to support them like this so here we are yeah here you go oh, thanks I take it that's not how yours is i mean no you you don't use the um you don't use the sc live thing anymore i do still your window orientation is interesting i don't understand the need for a preview that big doesn't necessarily have to be that big my own habit of checking elements i suppose yeah i can shrink it down and make yours a little bigger i could do that there we go and i tend to have mine as small as possible and i only really um resize it when i need to change something oh thank could you could have been a holdover from when i was tinkering a lot or it could just be that if i'm chatting with the community i i i, I don't know I just, I just have it. I just, I, I just have it to be like, yep. I, nothing weird is happening with the stream. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get it. I, it, it just like seeing the movement on or in my periphery distracts me. So I, I need to have it as, as small as possible. Gotcha. I guess. How you doing, Monty? I think copy might be busy. My all-star mod is, uh, I 
think, do another commitment. So I will, I will take it upon myself to set the game to Resident Evil 3. Is there like remake or is it just called it's just Resident, Resident Evil, Evil 3? 3? Okay. I did it. Why did it set the game to Resident Evil 6? That's not what you typed. No, it isn't. No, that didn't work either. <laughs> what the fuck? No! All right, fine. I'll do it manually then. Boy, that was real dumb. No, Vulp. You can clearly see. Can clearly see that I. No. Wait, don't. Don't do that. <laughs> you can see it, can't you? Yes, I can. God damn it, Snake. We've been over this. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I know. Also, I thought we I thought we solved it. I thought we did something to it. But also, also, she said it wasn't not safe for work. You were about to Google Velma. Yeah, she said it wasn't not safe for work. I trusted a trusted member of the community. If it was really fucked up, then Lily can't be trusted. All right, I'm going to I'm going to alt tab out. Well, actually, now I need you to close your eyes for a minute. And by eyes, I mean the stream. Yeah, hang on. Because I need to go and get rid of it. Let me know. I, I automatically assumed it was an image search, but uh, yeah, just the headline should have been fine. Oh, why is my stream exploding? Okay, Velma's officially lesbian, a new Scooby-Doo film. Gotcha. What is happening? I don't know. What is happening? Frames, come back. I need you. Thank you, Frames. The hell? Oh, this is just... Okay. Yeah, that part I get, Lily. Of course, I would not image search a woman's name on stream. Or any name, really. That's just asking for trouble. What's happening? Oh, Jill's dying, right. Why am I losing? What is going on? Where is oh, my... you're really fucked up right now, yeah. Yeah, we'll see if that continues. I hope not. Yeah, I don't I don't beg for porn, Lily. I just watch it. Okay, I'm going to adjust this volume a bit. I mean if it's too quiet or too loud. Well you're currently robocopping a little bit. I don't know if that's Oh, Brad's ID card is trash now. That's good to know. Wow. Put it in the dumpster next to his cold corpse and, uh... Wow. Damn, I got a lot of bullets for this thing. It's... it's being weird. How's this... Hmm. How's this on my end, everyone? Nat and, uh, and Monty? Is this... Is this smooth? Is it okay? Is it okay? Okay, good. Good. What 
Or is that a YouTube thumbnail over there? Hold on. What? When you see this. <laughs> no. There's no giant red arrow. Yeah, that's true. Hey, more ammo. Hell yeah. A little jittery. Let me let me know if that continues, Nat. Also, why am I getting this burn in effect? Is that like motion blur? What the fuck is that? Burn in effect? I didn't notice it before. Like it's like streaks sometimes. But I, see the streak of his head. It may just be his hair. I don't know. Hmm. Weird. Well, off we go to find a cure. Wait. No, off we go. Why am I only getting 45 frames? Where's Bard now? Got to be the lab at the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Copy. Feel like it was smoother before. Why? It likely was. Also, yes, this is this is not multiplayer. I'm watching via Parsec. This is Shay's first time through. Club rigged. What do you change? I didn't change anything. I haven't even launched it since we played it last. Hmm. Hold on. Can't see this, can you? No. Is RE3R really terrible or is it just not as it's just not as good as far as I'm concerned? But uh it's I would say it's it is a solid game. You just have to if you've played the original, there will be things that you notice, things that you miss. But if you don't have that perspective, it's perfectly serviceable as a game. Close slump. Any change? I don't think so. The refresh rate? Is that it? No. Hmm? Did you fuck with your refresh rate at all? Nope. Uh. <laughs> Do me a, uh... I mean, that's not even, that's not even close. No. Do me, do me a favor and change the refresh rate to, to match the FPS. Yeah, let's see if we can build it. Any change? We'll have to see. Let me know, Nat. Also, you're, you're good, by the way, Monty. I was just uh, asking people if they notice changes and stuff. Hey, Fade! It's both better and not. You will have to say more words than that. <laughs> that what? my connection will just explode very briefly mm. mine seems stable so i'm not sure yeah like parsec is fine yeah i really don't know what to say i'm looking i'm like yeah my my connection seems stable and strong no dropped anything No 
know what? Just for the hell of it. Can anyone look up if there's any, like, egregious things in this game that are, like, you know, when you look up a game and you look up, like, FPS stuttering or whatever, some people are like, oh, if you have chromatic aberration, like, low, it really, really helps. You know what I mean? Anyone can check and let us know if, like, there's an option that's, like, tweak it and it... Yeah, and it does better. Okay. Let's give this a try. I have now restarted it. Thanks, Nat. I don't got time for this. Ah! Oh, oh what? Oh god. God damn it. That should not have happened. Why you know what happened there? What up? My uh, my controller's plugged in. Oh. And it rumbled and spooked me. So I looked over at it and got eaten. Incredible. That was not fair. Funny though. Seems fine now. Oh, that's good. That's good, Nat. Fucking hell. Can you not? Can you not stumble about? She's gonna. Christ, they give you this awesome weapon, which should feel good to just like... And then these zombies, like, put their dodges on. Like, no. You're trying to make me feel cool. Don't do that. Good aim for center mass. I could. Oh, eat my ass. I mean, I think she was trying to. Bye, Vault. Thanks care for hanging that. out anyway. Eh, 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 eh. Are y'all fucking done now? He says it's urgent, but I don't know that I believe him. I don't like this hallway. Why not? This feels like outbreak. This area. It's technically the, the hospital from Outbreak. Is it? Just, uh, like it's not the same layout. Because I No, but it feels, it feels it. like that. It feels like that hospital that's on fire where you fight the plant thing. Hospital that's on fire where you fight the plant thing well maybe it's not a hospital i don't know it's just the layout where it goes both ways around and there's like you can kind of see through it and everything it it's like where you fight the plant thing the, the plant thing the plant i don't know maybe it's not a plant bugs the creature the creature that stalks you relentlessly and the, everything's on fire that thing creature that stalked you relentlessly and everything's on fire. I hate you.
I... But there's no fire in flashback. Describe the creature that stalks your limbs. I like, thought there was fire. I don't know. It's like a plant creature, as near as I can recall. You, you're referring to leech man. It's made of leeches. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's made of leeches. Yeah, that is the hospital. That is uh, the hive. In the first one. Wow. So it was a hospital, and it yes. was a creature made of something. But not plants. God, you are like you are like when when people speak a different language and you like you get it ninety percent of the way there and then they go huh like they you like you're completely foreign to them and you're like no nah, you got it you got most of what I was saying but it wasn't perfect no I you, you were describing things that didn't make sense in conjunction with the rest I was like so oh it was like a hospital or something you know. And then I was like, oh, he was, he was made of plants. And then I said, or, I don't know, some other kind of bugs. He was made of something, and he was unkillable. Well, you didn't say that. You said a creature that like stalks you relentlessly. Is there an outbreak that was like that? Come on. There's, there's more. The fire thing is what threw me off. There was no fire in uh, the hive. Well, that part I got confused then. I could have sworn there was fire with the plant thing. Because don't you, like, can't you, like, drop down between levels and stuff like that? drop down but you can uh, that's one of the like that is hellfire the scenario that is on fire but it's not the hospital that's why i was confused is it where you does the leech creature follow you in both or is no. it just the hospital just the hospital you're okay. combining two scenario again Scenarios, which is why yeah. i'm confused or was confused didn't make sense also, Nero, thank you for 38 but months. But you could have just helped me and described either one of those. <laughs> you could I was like, trying to get you. The fire one is this thing, if you're talking about shit that's on fire. The leech man is this other thing, if you're talking about that. And then I would have went, oh, I'm just an idiot and combining the two. Well, I wanted you to explain more, so I questioned it. Fucking guy. Oh, I gotta put a tape in this for this to work. Wait, can I can I just look at it anyway? No, I can't. Damn it. Damn it. Wait. Oh, I did pick it up. The fact that there are two hospital scenarios which both feature free sick chase you are or pseudo immortal is very good true enough also but neither of them are on fire it's also in my mind a commentary of like fucking resident evil just beating that stick yeah they, in they... almost every resident evil game i've ever played i'm like is there gonna be a really dangerous immortal creature that i can't actually affect until story and, and almost universally, the answer is absolutely. <laughs> In all the remakes so far, yeah. That's been a thing. And Outbreak. Every day, we stray further from... <clears throat> they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isol isolation? isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from sp spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? A question was creepiest place you've been. Oh, okay. On a plantation where I shoved from behind when I was alone in a room. Damn, that'd be that'd be spooky as hell, Halbound. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? <laughs> do, me, do me a favor and go back. Mm. 
interact with it again. Open sesame. No voice match found. This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice match found. Does he does he voice him? No. Oh. Come on, let me in, you piece of shit. No voice. So that was just found. a shitty impression that he tried. Yes. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No voice match found. Oops. Hmm. Oh, okay. It has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No voice match found. If it had a said no voice match found, I would have lost it. <laughs> I wonder which college Dr. Bard went to. Oh, does that count as in this hallway? No. Oh, it, it's this. It's just this. Wait. This is a Jill thing, isn't it? Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, what the fuck? They labeled it the forbidden door. You right, Bina. Like, they wrote that down. The guy might as well have been like, they went through the scary portal. Oh, hey. Oh, I missed. I missed again. To be fair, that glass was looking shifty. <laughs> Are y'all gonna like... This, uh, this, this weapon doesn't particularly feel good. I can see that. Like, I know, I know that, you know, you kind of mess with it. It's like a little bit spray and stuff, but it also just doesn't like pistol crits feel the best. They do. Yeah, this, this thing is really good at, uh, aiming like chest height and just firing off a burst because it'll climb. Cafeteria was in the basement for some ungodly reason. And all the corridors down there were narrow and full of pipes and the lights were in classic liminal space bullshit. Yeah. Cool. Ah. Oh, you're right. Okay, there was um Or the uh, college I went to, it um, it had like subterranean um, lecture halls in one of the buildings, and a lot of the buildings were interconnected via like basement tunnels. So a oh, lot okay. of the time, instead of just going uh, like navigating all the way around campus above ground, I'd just take the tunnels and. Boy, oh boy, if it wasn't so often filled with people, you might think you'd die down there. Oh. There's a couple places like that here, like schools specifically, that have like old like boiler rooms or like sort of like the underground piping systems that also like students just conveniently use like that. <clears throat> like old heating systems and stuff. And yeah, they'd be pretty spooky. I do kind of love that shit, though. Yeah. There's a cathedral that I, um, back in high school, we had to do like 300 hours of volunteer community service, air quotes. And um, <laughs> I spent a good chunk of that at a cathedral here helping clean. And the amount of bullshit and weird spaces in that place. 
Good thing you didn't know, Clip. Yep. An underground subterranean set of tunnels that went for miles and four people got lost down there for four days. Oh, geez. Jesus. Yeah. How do, you, how do you get lost down there for that long? Oh, was it just not marked and they were... Okay. Unless everything looks exactly the same, like in a forest or something like that. And I would have to see it because it, uh, just go back for it. Look exactly the same. Oh, I see. Do the old, uh, maze trick. Hmm. I've been looking at a handful of like urban exploration videos recently. Yeah. And, uh, A, I love that shit. B, I, I hate doing searches for it because I always get those stupid channels that steal other people's content. And it's like the scariest or like 20 creepiest things urban explorers have found. And but I didn't find them uh, anyway. Here it is. <laughs> and they always have some shitty voiceover person doing a shitty voice, reading things terribly, and they have their own like branding in between clips, and it's a whole thing. And I hate it. Huh. Yeah, that sounds dumb. Hey, Wu. Hello, Wu. You you hot for Carlos Wu? Oh, hey, it's a. Uh safe room that's great gonna dump this here got a lot of shit yep Is there anything out no nope. admitted over 20 mystery illness patients patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis fever muttering delirium and signs of hyperphagia possible infection Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have got to contain this chaos. What were they doing down there, hell about? Yeah, it sounded kind of fun when you mentioned that it was like four miles and it just went on, but then you were like, it's all concrete. It all looks the same. I'm like, that's less fun. That's yeah. just <laughs> mind-numbingly boring and, and yeah, potentially dangerous, so. 13 miles away from the main stairwell back upstairs. Jesus. If you know you're going to be in, if you're, if you're doing that intentionally, you have to bring something, some kind of marker. Goes for yeah. 57 miles. Where? <laughs> Where does it go? Go on, good, Gabba. Doing too bad. What's going on? What's going on? We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. Chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming. But none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. 
But then the sound grew distant, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. Well, we're all about to lose our minds. The silent screams in our hearts. Holy shit, this nurse is a poet. <laughs> Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help. Mm. Why would you write that? <laughs> why, why would you be in the middle of getting bitten and or eaten? Like, hang on, I need to finish this last paragraph. <laughs> Help mm. <laughs> Like, you gotta see it coming, especially yeah. if you wrote something's coming. Zombies approaching you from around the desk there. You're like, no, wait, help. Mm. <laughs> I can, I can imagine, or I can appreciate typing it. Like, I can see that. But writing it, no, you stop. Phone call would work. That I get. <laughs> Tape recording. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh, what the hell is this? ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home from the day. Thank you. The key to the locker room's gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it's recovered, we'll keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Oh. Fuck. Fine. How long does it take to find a fucking key? <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to ask Hellbound, but then I saw government and went, oh. Yeah, I probably can't say, so I didn't. Yeah, Lily's got the, the right of it, I'm pretty sure. Wait, I didn't... Ow. Oh. That's most of the stolen artifacts, Lily. Those are some cool noises. Ooh. Oh, the sick room. Well, no surprises there. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw but removed something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked towards the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and he'll get his day in court. Stay brave. Stay strong. Wait, this is the guy that I'm trying to go get, right? This is Dr. Ba Baird. That's almost his name. Bard, whatever. He played D&D. Yeah, I just couldn't remember if it actually was with a A-I-R-D. Oh my God. Okay. They just don't fucking go down. They just fucking stumble around, not falling over. It takes like 80 million shots to the head. God. All right. I'm fine now. Everything's fine. Fuckers. Bad dragon had to start somewhere, Lily. That was a groaring noise. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, copy. We 
forgot it was Wednesday. Oh, God, it. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I we had some weirdness anyway, because I, I I saw that you weren't there, and I was like, oh, copy's probably busy or something. So I went and changed the the game title, just like you would have. And I went set game Resident Evil Three, and it's like, gotcha, Resident Evil Six. I'm like, no, no three, and it it wouldn't do it, no matter what I typed. So I had to set it manually anyway. <laughs> It is, in fact, Wednesday, though. We're finishing Resident Evil 3. That's something else I hear. What am I hearing? Is this her? Okay. Give me that herb. Give me that hand grenade. Jesus Christ, Hellbound. Would get lost in concrete jungle any day. Yo, where's this tape recording at? Didn't they say it was in the sick room? Or what did they say? Oh, maybe treatment room is what they said. I don't remember. It's fine. Fuck, I can't get in there. Well, there must be a there must be a clue. There must be something in here. Hey, cans. Out of cans. How you doing? Stationed in Australia now. Where am I going? Um, I can't go that way. Maybe I'll go to the linen room. Is this the way? Yes, it is. Off I go. Wait. Oh, can I, like, jump down? I'm not going to do that yet. Oh. It wasn't even like in the bush or anything. It's just. Fuck. I'm going to have to shoot some zombies. Oh, they're different. They're different areas that you jumped out. Well, it's a good thing I jumped down into this one, huh? I love Tamu locks. Same brand that was an RE2 make. Okay, now I gotta find what was locked. I forget what was locked. Also. 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 Microphone muted. The sheer amount of shit he just misses by having the camera faced slightly mm. off center. Like, I'm pretty sure there was a, you know what? a hunter, like, jump scare 
of it darting across the screen when you come out of that door, but he just wasn't facing it. Microphone activated. There. That makes the most sense. <laughs> hey, Khajiit. Lurk on. Good to have you. Uh, four. Okay. Excellent. Onward. Two. I don't remember. Oh, I was totally here. Well enough, drowning guys. How are you? That's all this was for. Perfect. Got him, Mark. I had to go check the front door to see whether that had a brand name on it and it didn't. Yeah, there's home locks that'll have names on them, like Wiser locks and stuff like that. I'm going to say Defiant is one that uh, I've seen around a lot. Okay. I only know of Wiser because it's... It allows you to, you can, if you have a bunch of wiser locks in the ha house, you can use like, it comes in the kit as you buy all the locks. You can use like a master thing so that your one wiser key will work in each of the locks. Hmm. You can basically go, like program them together. Yeah. So you don't have to carry around like three separate keys. Hey, an ID card. Perfect. Who's this fucking nerd? Whatever. I got his ID now. Hey, bud. You, uh, no? All right. You know, for these being lockers, they don't have many, uh, many locks on them, do they? Nope. Also, can we talk about their security system? You're not allowed to bring ID cards out of the hospital. You're supposed to store them in your locker on the second floor. <laughs> so how the fuck do you what? get back in? How do they know? Nah, it's fine. Hmm. Also, the lockers aren't locked. They're locked with one thing where the key goes missing, so they keep a spare. In the same office, I guess? <laughs> Here's some pepper tortas. Wow. I would like okay, some. so I've got... Oh, god damn it. I picked up a fucking flash grenade. You don't like flash grenades? Also, staff room, simple... Oh, simple lock. Not really. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? And also, can I kill it? Guess we'll find out. Ow. Did we trade? Christ. Dude, are you done? Hey, hey. Jesus Christ, indeed. Is it dead? Microphone muted. He just narrowly avoided the one-hit kill. Microphone activated. Literally only get food from HelloFresh now unless I'm eating out, so thanks for that sponsor, Shay. Hell yeah, Nat. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it's working for you. If it's, like, convenient for you and it's affordable, that's that's great. I need to do the math on it. You definitely like if you if you prep it all from home and everything yourself, like you're you can certainly get your cost per plate well below HelloFresh, but you also have to do all that. Mm. <laughs> so if you don't have the time and you're like, no, I'm I'm you know, I just want stuff to come that's like pre portioned and 
and I basically assemble it like Legos, then yeah. I need to I need to figure out just how much I spend on groceries versus yeah. uh, what we get for HelloFresh. Also, so I, I got a couple other sponsorship uh, opportunities. I, I've been getting them, and one one was HBO Max, but it yeah. only had a limited amount of slots, which ran out. And also, I'm not even sure. I'm like, how? Like, what would I? Because I want it to be something fun. If I do a sponsorship, right? I'm like, what do we? Is HBO going to give me the go ahead to fucking watch something with like with the channel? Like, can we just turn on? You know, um, so that that. I let run to zero. I also, though, have a sponsorship for, um, oh my God, what's it called? Uh, is it, it's something spoon. It's a cereal. I know what you're talking about. Oh God. Yeah. It's like this. It's, it, it bills itself. It, it brands itself as healthy cereal that doesn't taste healthy. So they're like, ah, oh, yeah, you like, you like that Reese puffs. You like that captain crunch shit. Don't you? Doesn't it suck though? That that's basically all sugar. Magic Spoon, thank you. Thank you, yes. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, so it's like, oh, you like that unhealthy shit? What if we told you we made something that tastes like that? sponsorships they're like oh they have to you got to do like two hours right i just want to get a massive bowl a massive bowl like a like a big tank of it right and fill it with milk and fill it with the cereal and for two hours just really slowly lift the spoon and like eat it <laughs> you know, like just fucking that would be go. so soggy It'd be so stupid, but I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Magic Spoon is one that I would do just because uh, I like cereal. Yeah. If you can have healthy cereal that tastes good. Y you should check, better. Ben. Yeah, I might have it. But I also don't really know the stip you like. If they don't send you anything, like the HBO Max one I didn't do, because what am I going to do? Tell people to go buy HBO Max if they... Like, if there's something that people want to watch on HBO Max, they probably already have it. Mm. And convincing someone to get it just for my sake doesn't really... Like, I no, wanna... I, I, I don't like doing that anyway. Yeah. The best sponsorships are the ones where I'm like, hey, I, this product is good. I like it. And, and also ones where if they're like, oh, like HelloFresh, they had a code. So I could literally say to people, hey, I've used this product. I like it. And also, you know, they sent me this code. So if you've been thinking of trying it out, here's a discount. So like you win, I win, they win, you know, like it's, I, I like that kind of stuff. If it's this kind of like, yeah, like you said, if it's like, if, if, if like Netflix did a sponsorship, I'm like, hey, everyone, have you guys heard of Netflix? Do you for some reason not have Netflix? There's probably a reason you don't have it. So yeah. I can't really, <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> Dumbo sized bowl. Yeah, it would. By the end, it wouldn't be cereal. It would be stew. Maybe I do it dry then. <laughs> I would just, I'd still spoon it. I'd still do the slow spoon, raise fall, raise fall, but it'd just be dry. But no, I'm, I, I was thinking about it because I was like, oh, like a, like a healthy cereal. Like that could, that could be a neat try, but it's also a sponsorship. And I'm like, I, I just did the HelloFresh one in my mind. I don't actually know how long ago that was, but it feels like it was. It wasn't long enough that, you know, I, I, I don't like doing sponsorships like back to back that, you know, I, I don't like flooding people with sponsorship shit. Yeah, I don't, but it, I'll do, uh, I'll do game ones if I have an interest in the game. If, if they don't, if it's something like the, uh, Life is Strange when I did, where I just showcase the game and get paid for it. That sort yeah, of thing. Is there's nice. no ask. Yeah. Right. If, if there's like, an ask, it, I'm very much skeptical of doing those yeah yeah if it's just something where they're like hey can you showcase our game and we'll give you a code or whatever and you're like yeah okay you know as long as you're not again as long as you're not like you must say these things and try and drop it like blah 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 because then it's yeah it's like an ass sponsorship but if it's just like yeah play it showcase it we get some marketing you get a game 
maybe some people in your uh, chat might like it. That's fine. But for for products where uh, they want me to not only advocate for it, but try to get people to sign up for stuff, I'd, I'd rather be able to use it myself or have a legit, like a, a decent enough reason to tell people to do it. Yeah. It has to be a compelling offer or yeah, it's like, well, send me a sample or I need to try it first because I'm not just going to tell people to do a thing. Mm. And they're like, oh, shave. No, <laughs> but you should. <laughs> that's, that's I don't like that at all. Fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, it only goes one. Oh, you assholes. You have done that yourself. Oh, my God. I didn't know if it was an interaction of like, ugh, ugh. They all came through on the raid one. But I, they keep trying to get me to do those again, and I don't want to. <laughs> they are, they, they have the big budget. They are very lucrative. Um... But they also, like, depending on what they are, because I've gotten several types now from, like, get people to level 10 to literally just have people play the tutorial. Yeah, but that's... And, like, yeah. Hmm? Even, like, even with the differences in the campaigns, you still have the same audience. So if you've no, done it... No, I, I wasn't. I wasn't saying it's a positive. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying I had different kinds of ones to do, but, like... All of them were just variations on, like, try it. Like, uh, the tutorial one was the easiest because it was, like, you don't even have to have people, like, grind it out for you anything, right? It's like, okay, do people want to try this? You don't have to actually spend anything. <laughs> You're not actually being, like, yo, people need to, like, get to level 60, and that's really hard without buying gems or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's Thank just kind of like, oh, hey, can you can you guys download this and play the tutorial? Cool. <laughs> Out of case, Adia. Oh. There was another place that there was this, and I forget where it was. Oh, this is a fun, long hallway. Oh, that's... That's... Okay. Yeah, there's two of them in there. Where's that grenade launcher? Oh, Jill had it. Well. She having fun with okay. the hunters, I mean. We'll see. Um, there was a second door. Was it staff room? No, it wasn't staff room. Where the fuck was it? I think it was downstairs, actually. Hey, hey! the door closed and it was it the audio was in such a way that it actually sounded like it was in the room with me so i looked to my right ah uh, <laughs> spatial like, audio yeah i was like what in the fuck that door doesn't sound uh, like that oh nat i'm sorry <laughs> i'm an idiot this is so i see my lips <laughs> they're having meal time well they're about to have a fun time when i get there where the hell's the You dead? Are you? No. Just ask someone that. Does this get cooked or? Oh! It doesn't. I thought he pulled the pin, but apparently he just chucks it. 
Anyway, I wasted a grenade. Ah! Hey, that was pretty good. That kind of made up for the other fuckery. Ah, did I get myself? Wait, what? D does the flashbang instant kill them? No, you hit the second one with the grenade as well. You just didn't kill him. But did the fl but the flashbang killed him. No, you shot him. No, I didn't shoot this one. I you threw a blew, grenade. Yeah, you blew him up. You it hit oh, both of them. Oh, he was dead. He yes. was just doing his death animation. Yeah. I didn't think he was dead. So when I threw the flashbang, I was like, I didn't fire on this guy. Ah. The fact that that works makes me livid. Why? It seems like it should work. Like if you could just crack the door and throw in a grenade. That like is. That's the, that's the tactic like that that's what i would do in real life i wouldn't fucking run in there and throw it <laughs> that's how i deal with these assholes every single time i just go over the door toss a grenade wait clean up yeah all right Tape inserted. I believe they're that good. What? Uh in um in the original, there's a section dubbed YOLO Carlos, where you basically um the first speed run specifically for uh, there's a puzzle when Carlos is going through the hospital. You need to you need to check a body in one room to get a code to figure out the position of a uh, certain things that you have to move. Or you could you basically guess uh, it's a 50-50 chance of you being wrong. And uh, if you're wrong, you lose a bunch of time. But if you're right, you save a bunch of time by not having to go into that room. So they call it Yolo Carlos. In this, the Yolo Carlos, I believe, is this room where you run in, pass these hunters, grab the tape, and run. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm like, so do speedrunners just like, if they call it wrong, they're like, well, I'm restarting. Pretty much, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, the original RE3 is a speedrunner's nightmare. Because there's so much RNG involved. Like, puzzles have different uh, variations. Uh, items like um, gunpowder drops, health items, etc. Uh, okay. Ammo, in some cases, have different, uh, like, they have set various uh, locations they could spawn. So you you can't really plan. You kind of just have to, to pray you get the one you want or be ready to adapt if you don't. So it, you kind of just have to hope you get the right one. Low negative right. pride. Hey, negative. The remake has none of that. Fuck. Oh. Is it gone? It went home. Okay. Now this is stupid why it's working, but I'll take it. You didn't notice, but when you are, you may have noticed. When you, um, in that room with the zombie behind the glass and all of them just sort of stood there like idiots. Yeah. That's because you didn't actually walk through the doorway. For some reason, they don't move. That apparently works on this hunter here, and I didn't know that. Interesting. Interesting. Well, he's dead now. And now is this? No, no. No, this is the... I want to go down this one. Oops. Hey, attack! 
tactical grip. That would have been useful. Anything else here? There's got to be a third trashy boy. Greatly reduces recoil. That's good. Let's, uh... He's on tactical yes, my grip. Please. Yeah, I... I don't see it as it's happening, but I can tell by the drop frames that it still is. I'm sorry for the, the drops. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm hoping it's only like a parsec thing, and I'm going to do some tests after. Because if it's not, I'm going to have to yell at my ISP again, which I've already done that once this year. I've hit my quota. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> yeah. You did just go all uh, robot -y. did I? Yeah, Snake, you gave me a little bit of your tech issues. I got some tech side effects. How's that? Uh, a couple of times now, I've had an issue where my my bit rate will just drop to zero. Yeah, that's what's or happening like, to me. Or like the stream, yeah, the stream will disconnect. And then it'll reconnect, maybe. And then it's fine. And then it's not fine. And then it's fine. And then it's not fine. And so... That happened in the 12 hour XCOM stream. I had to call it a half hour early because it would not come back. Oh, no. And then just uh, just last night it happened. And uh, it was at towards the end of the stream and it was cutting in and out, but it was coming back enough that people would briefly get me for like five to 10 seconds. So I incorporated it into my content. And when we were doing XCOM, we were, we were killing a bunch of the lost, the, the zombie like dudes. And, uh, yeah, I was going through the mission and we were like being overrun by zombies. So every time I cut in, I'd just be like, oh, they're everywhere. We're being overrun for the love of God. And then it would just cut out again. <laughs> so it was very fun. It was the funnest way to have the stream shit the bed possible. <laughs> Got to roll the punches. <laughs> yeah, I made lemonade. Okay, where am I going? Uh, simple lock. Faith. Simple lock. But there was something up here that I spent. Oh, it was the, it was the. Don't let me do that. I'm going to, I'm going to check something real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Did I? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I want the records room actually for a minute. Do I? Yeah. That's good, Nat. Like I'm, I'm genuinely glad to hear it. <laughs> okay, there we go. That'll work. You know? I'll take out one of these just in case. Okay, now where is the. No, that's not where. Where is the. You know. Oh, can I not get through there? How do I. Wait, can I crawl? No. I guess Jill goes through there? I don't know how to do that. Whatever, fine. Oh, God. God. God damn it. Ah. Leaving.
There is just an extra person there now. Where's my knife? Oops, not combine. Shortcut. Knife? Other thing? Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. No, oh, come on. Come here. Hello? Oh, I guess we're not doing that then. Oh! I'm uh, quickly running out of ammo. Ah, uh, see, good thing I did something about this. Oh, no. Bad corpse, bad corpse. Oh, I can just do that. I can just dodge the corpses when they start to get up instead of being an idiot and just getting eaten. That's cool. Didn't even think to do that. Well, now I know. Bastards. Ooh, red herb. Can't do anything about that. I don't know what's going on, but it's... It's making me angry. Oh, the internet stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Now it's doing it rapidly. Great! Okay, now that's bothering me. Oh, perfect. Show me something later, by all means. What's that? Uh, to Sir Dan. We get everything in here? No. Oh, holy crap. What the? Okay. Oh. They gave me a bunch of stuff. That's actually not the best. What do you mean? Also, because my shit is cutting out, if you want to go to a stable stream of this, pop over there. <laughs> I'm still going to leave this running, but uh, I am annoyed. Yeah. Good old gore shadowing. I feel like <laughs> that should good. be a term. <laughs> That's good, Nero. I, I think, like that. I think it was a typo, but even so. No, no. I think Nero knew what they were doing. <laughs> All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections. Wow, what a piece of shit. Of course the military oh. itself will make oh, thanks, Headphone Fox. Your comprehension. So stop wasting I appreciate time it. with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. 
If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. What the fuck? You know about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. What? That's not even what? Uh, wow. Who knows? Polish my shoe. That's not even in her job. What? That's not even part of her duties. Which, which one, girl? Oh, is he dead? Oh, hell yeah. Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. I can hear that. I can. I can hear. I can hear that. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m. The Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Okay, Snake. Hey, Hailstorm! Yeah, his, his first name's Lawyer. Little known fact, Nick. Dr. Lawyer Bard. I love how they're just giving me all sorts of shit to heal myself. They're like, you'll need this. Wait, what the hell was that? The salt rifle ammo behind me, you say? Excellent. I'm gonna need that, too. Can't get in there. To Greg Tester, reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you've got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which should sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. Oh. This oh. Is ORC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29th, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. Yeah. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Oh, my... Me anyway. 
Oh, God damn it! I needed that hand to shoot things. Also, who would have known the secret to getting this door open was punching that monitor specifically where the umbrella logo was. That it is, is a devious unlock mechanism. I mean, it is umbrella. <laughs> is it here? It's true. One second. Hi. Steven? Okay. See you later. Where is okay. she going? Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. If you're leaving, does the door need to be closed? There she goes. She's gone. I'm in here in my in my musty office. Give me one second. Never seen again. Gotta respect that power behind the punch to crack a fucking CRT screen. Yeah, that's that's intense. I fell with a um like an old school television. Like I was carrying it down a flight of stairs. Oh, like no. going from a LAN party. Fell right onto the screen. Was fine. With the exception of like a, a couple of dings, but it was fine. That was yeah. my TV for uh Oh there you go. Pretty much until I got an L C D. Hang tight, Jill. I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. That guy is gonna betray the crap out of us. And by betray, he's gonna be like, yo, I'm with Umbrella, which I technically am too, but yeah. New Gamer Dictionary noted. Hey, so I, I was fine. I was just listen. Yes, I am. I am residenting the evil. I'll finish it up tonight. I'm thinking, how the what? What else is in here that I haven't found? Oh, all right. Hey, sushi. How you doing? Oh. Uh oh <laughs> Okay Where did it go? Fuck. With every subscription, I only grow stronger. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it, Sushi. And an 11, not bad. That's definitely, thanks, you're above so. average. <laughs> Five months, thank you. I hate that I can hear your alerts because I'm not used to them yet and I don't know where they're coming from. <laughs> yeah, well. I have to hear I am Ferdinand Van... Blah, 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 blah. That guy. I can't do go. it. Ferdinand Van Eyer. Yeah, you like... I, I used to. And then you and then you changed it so that I didn't have to. And then sometimes you still do it. I don't I'm know. Sometimes Ferdinand it like pipes Eyer. through. It's true, I don't know yes. if that's a you thing. It shouldn't. You are so crispy right now. Where did that fucker go? Uh oh. Oh! Does he just keep going back? He's like, all right, I don't really want to be in here, so I'll I'll wait for you in the hallway.
How come I can't back up through a door? through here. Oh! Whew. Okay! Anyway, yeah, so I overhanded it and it hit the fucking main entrance and lobby sign. back down at peak gameplay thanks thanks woo sour cream and coleslaw cooked into the rest of the food it's also put away nice oh we got a 20 auto i didn't see that sushi your your manual roll after <laughs> good job Well, I left her right at the entrance where all the danger was, but it's fine. You're gonna be okay, Joe. She's having a hard time. Oh, this thing's done now, actually. Yeah, she is. Yep, get rid of that. <laughs> Night, woo. Don't die, woo. Okay. That's not the vaccine. <laughs> hey, Alpin. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Uh, um. There's just magically gear in here? Oh, no. Okay. They tell me. Yeah. Door that. That's that's really the only other I mean I guess I could take one of these out. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry point is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. I'll try hacking, he says, as they lower. Now the 
Ah, this is fine. Is it? Well, is there any ammo here? Or... I don't got a lot of ammo. Uh oh. Oh, hey, ammo. Oh. oh. No, they didn't. How did they breach the room? What? Wait, where's No? No, we're we're fine. Ow. I'm in danger. Nah, I'm fine. Oh, more ammo. Wait. The hell? Can I? Oh. Uh oh. No! Oh, god damn it. Oh, hell yeah. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. What up with this detonator? Uh... I mean, yeah, how do I, what? How do I use it? What is that? That's what? Oh, it's zombies. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Eat it, you stupid creature. Big fucking idiot. <laughs> Why do they explode like that? Save on resources. That's, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's just a video game thing. How we doing, everyone? That's cool. Wait, what am I looking for? What am I doing? Oh, no, I'm just defending Jill. I don't care. I can do that in the dark. Uh oh. There's someone to my left. Microphone activated. Uh oh. God damn it. Give me the pouch. Uh oh, I didn't see him. Uh oh. Cool little uh, death animation, though. There he goes. Oh, 
There she goes. Delicious. <laughs> Normie. Oh, that sucks, Bliss. I'm sorry. Sorry I didn't see that until now, by the way. <laughs> little little preoccupied. <laughs> hey, maybe I can use that C4. How do I... I mean, it was... Fine. I'll do it this time. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Sure. I promise I'll do a much better time. Been much better this time, buddy. Okay, how do I how do I use this C4 here? It just says detonator. It doesn't really. Oh, eat my ass! Oh, eat my ass! She's getting to it. Wait. Oh fuck. No, they didn't. Uh oh, uh oh, that was lucky. Oh, God damn it. Relax, dude. Can use those multiple times that makes things much easier all right three mods skip this win apparently the remakes are incredibly difficult to mod like outside of uh, textures and weapon stuff in terms of like world mods those on, are wait. hard doesn't this because they're banging on it doesn't this look like it's a squisher, like left yeah, and right. That's yeah, like matching. It does. That's what I thought. It, that's what I said. I was like, what the hell is that? You were like, what was what? I'm like, oh, it's just zombies, but it makes it look odd. Oh my god. Incredible. The serpentine. No. <laughs> serpentine my bullets. Can you not lead me into a double? That'd be cool. The daily another... double. Oh god. No. No. Almost got it. Christ. You're just surrounded Ooh. by bullshit. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, Fedoran. Hello, Fedoran. No, no. I'm, I'm immune. It's your oh, boy. Oh, Christ. Oh, he's oh! so angry with you. 
and so dead. Plot antibodies, I like that. Can you? Thank you. Jesus. Wait. Wait. I want this, even if I can't use it. I feel like I should be able to use it. Did I not be able to? Beep. That's oh. on the end of sword. Midway through dead air and left for dead. It didn't used to be a rolling crescendo of memory serves. They changed it. And I kind of hate it. You know, hard miles. Ah. Yeah, I guess I can't do that. Ah, joke's on you. <laughs> That's not no, you're good, Sonic. That's not ancient. Now I just gotta clean up. Oh. You know, the, the barricade wasn't actually in front of the doors. Place the detonator. Maybe you can knock the pillar down with that explosive. Yeah! Oh God, dude! Did you just get a double dodge? What? What? The, what? He double lunged at me. Yeah, they'll what do an that. What an asshole! Wait, I have something for this. Take this. Okay, that that briefly helped. I'm just gonna walk back here. Oh hell yeah! Some grenades I didn't pick up. This wasn't as, uh... It just crushes the room they're in. Yeah. Carlos! You alright? Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. All that gunfire. I Every zombie in a three mile radius. <laughs> yep. That seems a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Why were his pouches bouncing? For fun. It's over now. The city's safe. Yeah, okay. Carlos! Could I have shot him there? I just thought that was a cutscene. Where am I? It was. What's going on? Oh. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st? Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. 
Just sleeping with her grenade launcher. I was gonna I say, know. Carlos is like, oh, that would have been really useful against those hunters. Okay, what do I got? I got mine rounds. God damn, do I have a lot. Okay. What's what's in this? Fire? Yep. Looks like. Okay. All right. This seems fine. This it is, is Eris. Yeah. Yeah. It's his first playthrough. I'm mostly just uh, uh, critiquing because I have critiquing. played this multiple times. I'm giving you notes. Red rice, so good for so long. Nice. Uh, oh. Okay. Thirty-three shot, nine mil handgun with a three round burst. This quick rate of fire allows it to do a lot of damage in a short time. Can I decide not to burst with it? I think you can tap. Eh. I kind of like this. Can I take this off of here and put it on this one? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Which should I use? Listen to your heart. <laughs> okay, Kens. I will try not to get zom -hommed. You saved my life. I sure shit didn't. That was all Carlos. I don't give a fuck about you. Himself, crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Barge stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. Uh, how much did he stockpile? Did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Die? Hmm. Storage facilities underground beneath this hospital. That's what I was. Okay. I've lost contact with Carlos. So respect the God damn it! I don't need this. Of course you need it. It's an item. You need every item. Uh huh. You have to pick it up. Is there it anything? Beckons. I mean, yes, I'm gonna pick it up, and then I have to go right back into the room. Could I? No, they're different items. I was like, could Jill have gotten that? What am I missing here? What? Does this count as the same room? Yes. Yes, it does. That's cool. I don't need these. <laughs> hey, Pyra. A trail of debris 6,000 miles long. My God. Hello, Miss Pyra. Okay. I was about to say, I appreciate you walking around with your knife. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Sherex. Hey, Sherex. This. Oh, he he went this way. Through the padlocked gonna... door. Yeah. 
He locked Spencer it on Spencer Memorial right. Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City Healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine. Eric, that sounds like some Candle Cove nonsense right there. Research wing, it can't even fly. Do it again. I don't want to. Although I do like... I like using the knife in this for reasons I can't say. But, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't really care to do it again. Oh. That's Love an action, action game ammo. <laughs> Do it again, but blindfolded. I thought about attempting a blindfolded RE2 run for shenanigans. God. I don't think I would be able to do it very well. <laughs> But um, it would technically be helping Shay, so I can't can't say it. All right, I guess I can mute and say it, but uh, I'll do that. Microphone muted. Um, this looks like Nikolai's work. He was shot once in the head. Shay hasn't he he hasn't really mastered or even explored the dodges. Let oh, alone the, um... Hey, Dune! The guaranteed critical shot. Rage without saying a word. Excuse that. And hey, hey Lurk can say okay. You're, you're good either way, but yeah. I guess Appreciate increased critical here. chance for, um... Attacking immediately after a dodge. So he doesn't know about it yet. And I don't want to tell him. Microphone. Fucking hell. Microphone muted. He has yet to be instant killed by these guys, mm. and I'm waiting for it, but he's playing it really safe. Oh, there goes the internet. Nice chat channel, you have Shay all eager to interact? Yeah, they're a friendly bunch. Quite welcoming. Where did he go? Where did it go? Home. Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh oh. Stop! Oh! Ready, we're talking shit. You're not like those bubbly creatures from the sewer that- What the fuck kind of thing are you? Was he, he was like- What are you fucking instant transmission over here? What are you doing? Wow. Is that necessary? No. Funny though. No, okay. How's the playthrough been going? I think it's been interesting. I always- like, I could do this all day, watching people blind play Resident Evil is, uh... My favorite pastime. <laughs> honestly, yeah, like, I yeah. said this in, um, in Tolo's chat, he's been going through... He intends to do 1 through 8 and 1 through 4 of Silent Hill before the month is out, so he's been going through them. And Damn. as someone who's been basically playing these games on autopilot for the past 20 years, it's refreshing to watch someone not experienced with the series go through it because you get to see you get you're reminded of the things you've forgotten you didn't know yeah oh what the hell i heard that uh 
Oh god, I thought he was a zombie. Zombie on a computer. No, I've been having fun with it, Cherex. It's, uh, yeah, it's a good time. Um, yeah, I, I don't know anything about the Resident Evil series, really. I, like, I, I've just been going through every game Snake's had me play. It's always been for the first time, so... Yeah, I, um... It's fun solving all the little puzzles. I, 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 I think I survive all right. I get munched on quite a bit, but that's okay. Fella went through, um, the original RE2 over the past, like, couple days. Right. And, um... He got about the halfway point. He got to the sewers. And he was in danger. And there was a bunch of shit that he, he could not... Um, like, he was just having a hard time. He couldn't find any healing items. So he made it to a, a save room. Saved in danger and was venturing out trying to get past... You have so much gunpowder, my, my god. Um, <laughs> I don't need it. Okay. Um... He was just trying to survive and find a healing item. Eventually, he reloaded a save and made it back to the same place in better shape and played through the rest of the game. Once the credits were, I made sure I had him save. Like, I had him keep the danger save. Made sure he didn't save over it. Once the credits rolled, I had him reload that save, and I told him to check the locker that was maybe three feet to his right. There was a first aid spray. <laughs> But that felt very good. I mean, I enjoyed it. He slammed his desk and ended the stream. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where are you going? I don't quite know yet. Nothing in there. Where was that other... I think it was upstairs. Yeah. To drive the, but like, I wasn't entirely sure that there was a first aid in that locker because it looked like he checked it. But, um, I was pretty darn certain that there was one in the room or at least one in the other room. So I, I had to be sure before I even directed him to it. So before he finished the game, I ran through up to that point and checked the locker just to be safe. Completely for the bit. Like, the second I checked it, I cut off the game. Dedication to a craft. Hey! Oh, shit. Oh, you piece of shit. Whew. All right. Thing's not bad, actually. You can do the same thing as the... You can just uh, kind of center mass. Synchronized dying. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh, you can just tap it. I was about halfway through. Also, I would say about a little over halfway. Go 
for it, Sir Dan. Have a good night. Ooh, shotgun shells. Good night, Dan. Okay. Got that. Hmm. Hmm. Is there... No, I guess that's fine. Down and around. I could also just drop down, I suppose. Right. Yeah. You jerks gonna get up? That's cool. Whoa. Oh, good. More mag ammo. That mag that I don't have. Oh, shit. Sardan over here cheating death. Oh? Can't send me a uh, clip of him playing RE1 make. RE make. Um, and he managed to not get grabbed by two zombies that absolutely should have grabbed him. <laughs> Explosive, eh? This is infuriating. What? The, um, the internet thing. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good job, Jill. Give it a, give it a squeeze. All right. Is there anything here? No. Wait. Damn it. I don't want to drop down yet. I need to go into that sick room. That sick room? Yeah, it's pretty sick. Ooh. Is that it? Yep. They didn't do this the last time we did this, so I don't know what would be different now. And it, as far as I can tell, the internet elsewhere is fine. So it might, it might be a parsec thing or just like a my computer thing. I don't know. Mm. Why can't I? Okay. Or whatever. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck. Can I, can I cancel and pick it up again? Yes. Okay. You can, uh, look at your lockpick. Oh, oh, it's totally done now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, Sherex, my uh, my cousin just watched that with uh, her boyfriend and his kids. How the hell? What? My oh. Did you enjoy the movie at least? I don't think I've seen Hocus Pocus 1, so I don't really have. I haven't seen them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going back now. Right? Uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. 
I think I've gotten everything. Am I going the right way? What am I? Always happens. Um. No. No. Is this? What? Oh, through through there and then lab reception. Okay. Right up. All right, and then yeah, and then down and over. Cool. Oh wait, I don't think I went the right way. I think it was that way. Yeah. Welcome back, Sushi. Oh yeah? Let's see how much of a hunter you really are! So that is why the uh, the knife is up. <laughs> I could do this all day. Can you? You can. <laughs> no one told him. Fuck you, Hunter. What? Told me what? About the the follow up attack after dodges. Oh. The knifey stabby boy. No. No, I just I, earlier on when you were like. When you were like, ah, oh, respect it, running with the knife out. I just decided to be a cheeky, ballsy bastard. And I had a Futurama reference in my head, so. I see. Just decided to kill a hunter with it. The the fact that I slashed with it with the follow-up was just a cool bonus. That was nice. Would have been a lot more annoying if I had to just stab him over and over. Yeah, the, the dodges in this make combat incredibly fun. Once you, uh, once you figure out their thing. Uh, it felt like when you were dodging the hunter there, it felt like a dance when you mm -hmm. could, when you could whoop out of the way and then follow up slash. It was very fun. Even not, even not follow up slashing, literally just whoop out of the way and then stab, 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 stab. Okay. Well, I'm injured because <laughs> I was being a jackass. So we're just gonna... It mimics, uh, hey, you're fine. What? You have so much bullshit. Yeah, because I haven't needed it. Mm. <laughs> See, I can be a jackass. <laughs> it's great. But yeah, that, that amount of gunpowder that you have right now is why I love running around with a pistol coupled out with a dodge. It is very fun. Right. Okay. Do I need anything else? Uh, what do I got for? Hold on. How do I? How do I sort this? Boop. Gunpowder. Mm -hmm. Gunpowder. Explosives, explosives. Handgun. Mag. Blah, 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 first aid. Green. 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 Okay. Well, I'm fine. I think I will. Hell yeah! All right. Let's go. That was very fun. Jackass hunter. Okay, I'm going, Fred, or whatever your name is. So, do speedrunners find the magnum gets them the utility to eke out another couple of seconds, or do they just ignore all that and go? 
Um, for this game, I don't know if the Magnum is necessary. I, in, in both the original and, um, and the remake, I don't think the Magnum is a necessary tool. Like, in, the Magnum in the original is the slower run. So people right. try to get the grenade launcher and just ignore the Magnum. But, uh, like, they'll reset if they don't get grenade launcher. Mm. Um, for this, though, yeah, it's it's very much something you can miss, and it's very much secondary. I forgot that was there. Seems like an interesting area where I'm going to have to kick something's ass. Hello, Mouse. Hi, Mouse. How goes it? No one in the hospital ever noticed all this. Well, there was a single padlock. Also, they did. They nicknamed it the Scary Door. Forbidden Door, get it right. Yeah, whatever. In pizza relaxing, or what kind? <laughs> X Files. Yoink. Yeah. It's the Scary Door. I see. Totino's. I have Totino's pizza rolls, and I'm probably going to have later. I like a popular brand there. Yeah. Best not pizza ever. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something. I really only care for their, their pizza rolls. Well, I honestly haven't had frozen pizza in a long time. I think the last brand that I bought that wasn't um, something that Zeppelin could eat was um, was Jack's cheapy pizzas. Mm. Yeah. To all employees, we have identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as pro possible. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. Welcome to Umbrella, <laughs> where the OSHA violations are made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> if Frozen isn't really a cheap option, what's your favorite? I've tried DiGiorno. I don't think I loved it. What? DiGiorno. Ah. We get uh, here. It's called uh, Ristorante. And it's it's a cheapy pizza as well. You can get them for two ninety nine on sale. And uh, That's pretty cheap. Yeah, we, we, we... Yeah, Canadian. So probably, yeah, like two bucks. Buck ninety nine American. Um... But yeah, it's uh, we have them fairly often just because like Tuesdays for us are always like, oh, shit, we need something like Annika works at the store all day and I stream. So we'd be like starting to make dinner like, 730, 8 o'clock. <clears throat> so we'll just get something like I'll pick up like a like a mac and cheese dish or we'll do like a like a pizza or whatever. Excellent. Home run. I've not had it. Also, I haven't had Red Baron since, like, the mid-2000s. They weren't good then, but we bought them because they were cheap. I wonder they people are saying that it's good, so maybe they've gotten better. Hey! Hey, what's up? Isn't that Nikolai? It is. Huh. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, 
No, I'm sure it'll be fine. Worst case scenario, it just gets demonetized and I lose out on two and a half cent. <laughs> Had it. There's DiGiorno's croissant crust pizza. It's the die for. Damn, I'd try that. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm intrigued by that. Maybe it's only Midwest. I Midwest. I haven't heard of it. But I will say I don't exactly browse the pizza aisle terribly often or like frozen aisle terribly often. Like it's it's been so long since I've been in a store. Jackass. I'm a, I'm a big texture eater too, Sherex. Something something main generators. What's this? Lift lever. No, there's oh, no. Oh fuck's sake. What the hell? How did it get up so quickly? What? Oh, it's unkillable, isn't it? Later, nerd. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. I, I don't think there's an actual Mideast. No, we're, we're Midwest. Fuse. No, Palace. Actually, yeah, I don't know if he's unkillable. I didn't try shotgunning him. If I see another one, I'll know that they're probably killable. America's too racist America's for a Middle East. <laughs> Where is the lie? Uh... Lovers, yeah. Pork, pork. The hell? Uh oh. The ground was the looking shifty. Ow! Jesus Christ! Could you not? How do you feel now that you've unlocked the power of the dodge? I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. Although, I I was dodging before. It was just the, the knife counterattack that was new. You weren't aiming, generally, so you didn't get the... Like, you did it with the shotgun there. It literally slows time. Was that necessary? Nope. Still fun. No, wait. That's cool, but I, I don't need to go there yet. I'm gonna go collect my second fuse. Thank you very much. My second my second few okay fine fuck this Rain. oh jeez <laughs> i thought the i thought the the ice sound was something happening or breaking <laughs> Uh, hi, to be. Thanks for raiding. 
We're uh, we're we're trying to finish up our E three make. It's going pretty good. How's things going with you? It's hello. Also, hello everyone else. Also, to be I I know that you know Snake, but if any of your raiders don't, Snake. Now now you say hello. I didn't know that. He's, uh, he is a Resident Evil veteran and is just kind of, just kind of commenting and watching and yeah. It's a whole thing. Oh, I got a couple friends that are big into Foxhole to be. Is the, is the war over yet or is it still going? Can I? Is there... Still earliest stages? Oh, okay. A couple of them are trying to get us into it. I've played it before once, but it was a while back. I think there's been since several updates. I have not played it at all. And I, now that it's out of EA, I've been considering it. Like, I like it on paper. I don't know how I would appreciate it, uh, like, mechanically. I, I feel like you'd either love it or you would just have no interest at all and there'd be no in-between. Yeah. It seems like it could be good. Yeah, with the whole, like, behind enemy lines and, like, some of the other stuff that it's got. But I don't know if you... I don't know if it would pull you. I'll have to, to watch some footage of it, actually see how it goes. So I'm so sorry, Palace. Oh, I'm just dying, aren't I? Yep. You know what? Uh oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, God damn you. I should have just fired. I should have just pulled the damn trigger. Stay down. On the grenade launcher? He didn't. Yep. I should have, though. I said, stay down. Okay, these things are unkillable, I'm going to say. Eight hundred hours in the game. Damn, to be yeah, that's, that's pretty so firmly hooked, I'd say. Yep. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna store that. Honestly, the dropping has been on my end. I have dropped twenty-seven thousand frames since the stream has started. And, oh, uh, Jesus. Yep. Not happy about it. Yeah, for sure. It's only 5%, but that's still more than... Uh, the 0% you would like it to be. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I fell down. Why did I do that? That was silly. Why did I do that? I didn't need to be here. Like, at all. I ain't got no clue, darling. You can't move a ladder. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. The old no, double lunge. Don't. The classic. Dick. I mean, I think we're okay on this end, to be. I'm not, I'm not consistently getting 60 frames just because I got the graphics pretty high and I think it's about time for an upgrade, but... No, no stuttering as far as like network and stuff goes. Imagine if 5% of your baby was on fire. That is a very specific. <laughs> Stupid. I love it. Hmm. 
God damn it, Palace. You did it again. You did it again. No, Palace. What? No, you did it. You didn't hold the elevator. Ah. Okay, what am I, where am I going? There's a lift boy. That's, that's cool. Dude. Okay, yeah, and then here, and then here. Right, that's new territory. Oh, that's going to suck, isn't it? You wouldn't download a baby. How many babies can he fit in the recycling bin challenge? Uh. I can hear you. What do you hear? I can hear you. No, you can't. How did they break that open? Um? Hello? Hello. Uh-oh. Ah, I'm good. Are you? Uh-oh. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying... That was a dino. Yeah, a little bit. It can be with the right mod. Oh, you just went back in. That's so nice of him. Did they all go back in? No. They're less nice. Can I hit him from here? Give it a Hold shot. Hold on. <laughs> Foot. <laughs> all right, Quentin. Hmm. Well, I've kind of put myself in a bit of a bad spot. What the hell? Oh, no. Okay. I got him. <laughs> This is corny, but it's working. I mean, hey, it works. There's another one. I think my light's on it. I think if I just... Yep. Hey, what's up, lady? I have such mixed feelings about the Glock as a handgun. And I hate that they changed the default pistol in this to the Glock. Hmm. Like you get her samurai edge at the beginning. She shoots Nemesis with it. And then she gets slapped, so it's gone. I like Glocks, but I, I can see why you and people don't. They're too boxy. You think I'd yeah. be into that, but... Oh, God! Surprise. Um, what? Okay, well, I thought that killed him, but it didn't. No. No, it did not. Flame rounds, dude. God damn. Yeah. Well. 
Bored indeed. How? Hmm. Hmm. I can't go up there. How far back did that set me? All the way Pretty back far. to use one. Come here, you. That's fine. Bring in the recycling bin and recycling wow. people. Set it upside down to show that. would do if I found a dead baby under there. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm going. Fuck. Yes, that was a pretty intense hug indeed. Um, drum conundrum. Work, 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 work. I nice shot. Yeah, thanks. It was well before the age of dead baby jokes. That in itself, that statement in itself is a joke. Not oh, for God's sake. Man. No, wait. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, did I ever? Correct, Alice. No, I did not. No, you did not. And I'm glad you found it. Ooh. I would have been very sad if you never did. Oh. What did that said that it did? I didn't read that, actually. Uh, quicker reload, I believe. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Yum. He's president now, Lily. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, for fuck's sake. You don't want to go back for those shotgun shells? I'd say that's a net gain. Oh! Wait. For that. For that. What? What? And my fucking lesson. He loaded six. <laughs> he loaded six. The other two were dittos. <laughs> Okay. All right. This fucking egghead. Is it Dos Dosiro? Dosiro. I I want to say th thank you for following, but I want to pronounce your name like Dosiro. You know, like you're some sort of like robotic desire desire creature. You know. Mm. <laughs> 
like a superhero design romance. <laughs> this guy's just hanging out here. Can you yes. could you leave? Could you Oh. Alright, that's cool. Oh, what's this? Admit it to N2. Male, female, discarded. Male, fe oh. Males, female, discarded, female, returned. Female 8, uninfected. Huh. Disposals trending upwards daily. Preemptively dispose of any over 30 years of age. Jesus. Nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admission to underground facility temporarily halted. I thought it was just going to say nightly transfer observed by nurse. Transferred nurse to facility. I, I think that file was written by Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> no, that's 26. The way... The way you want? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that was a steamy boy of a zombie. Where is... Where am I going next? Oh, right. Just, you know, the way that I can... Wait, how did I... Is this? Oh. Jill, Jill. There. It's not Jill's fault. That's true. How you doing, Repoplums? Oh, uh, I should have brought a grenade. Ah, whatever. I don't care. Cool. Oh, I didn't quite get overwhelmed that time, did I, game? Huh? Got to funnel me back towards the fucking fish. Fish? Yeah, I mean, the fish. I can kind of see it. It's a fish. They were originally no. fish. Yes, they were. They looked like some of those fucked up fish at the bottom of the sea. Uh -huh. A fish monster snake. Yuzi. Uh -huh. Everything's a fish when you think about it. Those fish have feelings? Yeah, it's gonna feel like it's on fire in a minute. See? It's a fish. Yerk. Take it easy, some nobody. Don't die, some nobody. Did Big, I miss the other jellyfish? No. Come on. Um. Oh, I think I'm out of. Yep, out of room. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Did I? Is that where I got the first one? Yes. But where the hell's the second one? Third one? Whatever one. Lift lever. 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 Uh -huh. Where the hell's the other one? Is that it? Looks kind of red. Oh, but these don't look red. Hmm. I'll go have a little look see. I 
tried messing around and doing a run of this without the HUD the other day. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Not being able to Not pinpoint fun. headshot <laughs> is, uh, makes things difficult. Things take so much more ammo. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, Repoplums. Yeah, I know. I know that's uh, newer. A lot of people be jumping in. Hope you enjoy it. Okay. I got my fuses. You know what? I'm going to save. I've been running around for a little bit. Hup. The hell's the other fuse? Damn it. How? How? Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh. Not by much. Um? Oh, he's just on the other side. Oh! Oh! Parkour. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. I've never seen them pancake like that. God, that was satisfying. <laughs> oh, my God. That was amazing. Never seen what? You just, like, flatten down on the ground prone? Yeah, I've never seen them manage to do that. This is a lot of firsts for you, this playthrough of mine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've never seen that death animation. Uh-huh. All right, here goes. Okay, I did it. I didn't even okay. know Brad could kill you. <laughs> Well, he can. Okay, I'm storing that. How, how am I for? I'm fine. Game says so. Okay. Mm. Okay. Nope, not that way. Oh, balls. Oh, you little bastard. Ah, fuck this. Oh, no. Fine. Don't worry about it. See? They all just went out into the light, Snake. Ow. Nikolai, you little shit. Where are you? Yeah, that took me like fucking 20 minutes. Of course he got away. <laughs> what? There is an achievement for completing that in five minutes or less. Oh, is there? Does something different happen? No, it's just an achievement. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Infiltrated RC. Disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Raccoon City. Observe five Raccoon City Police Department officers engaging a pack 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university. Diverted pack, including canines, to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Successful rendezvous with MB Platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish in combined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. End of skirmish. Seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point... D18, tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female Jill Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N. Investigating. Observe bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted? Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with Jill. Video attached. Jill has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to Jill by Carlos, I don't know his last name, a soldier in MB platoon. Jill expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. Seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with Jill Valentine causes it to change and evolve. We'll induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. Three guesses as to who this is. Yeah. Vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Yeah. Okay, Tyrell. Whatever you say, buddy. Oh. Okay. Cool. I'm so glad Hell you found yeah. that. Custom part for the uh, this bull, uh, bull barrel reduces recoil and imparts extra speed. I mean, yeah, thankfully that was fairly obvious that there was stuff in behind. No, it'd be that. Whoops. Hey, buddy. How did you say you got through again? And how did you come up there? How come I couldn't just do that? You fixed it. Oh. Oh, he came up through. I thought this was a different area. I thought for some reason I could. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Yeah. You mean we'll find what's his face? Leather boy. Leather boy? Leather custom fit. Yeah, leather oh. custom fit. We talked about this at the beginning. I thought leather you were talking about Nikolai. Fitted. Robe. No, no, no. He's a leather boy for a different reason. I don't like that. All right. Let's get this done. Look at us. Both injured, but you mostly pretending. There he is. Keep going. We're almost there. Oh. Ha. That's cool. Hey, you feel all bad. Good doggy. Ah, I mean. Bonk. Get 
the vaccine. Getting stabbed like that was all a part of his master plan. <laughs> he just wants a hug. Well, I'm out of hugs, Dan. He's not getting one. That was kind of Wesker's master plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Can't get in there. Those guys are super dead. This, uh, yeah. There was literally a box and typewriter a cutscene away. Yeah. So? I just noticed that. Yeah, but like, if you if you didn't save and you had to exit the game, then you then you'd have to just watch that again, you know? Yeah, no, I, I get it. it. Attention, Nest Two employees. The objectives of this T virus research facility differ from those of Umbe Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here, we focus on real-world use cases, which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Oh, map. An entire folder. I mean, <laughs> kind of them to leave a map. Yeah. Up, 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 up. Nope. Look the wrong way. Break time's over. Every God time. Damn it. That's fine. I'm not too caught up about that one. Somehow, you're still alive. <laughs> oh, I didn't save either at the other one. No, you didn't. Woo! Hang All on, right. bring randomized. Back down right? these steps. All right. <laughs> Bringing a Glock to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what dirt. is it? Uh, it's what the it? prattling pate. Please help emote thing. <laughs> All right, this time. Oh, he faked being dead. Like being yeah, dead, dead. So. What a jerk. Yeah. The hell is this? Oh. The pay was generous. The benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research for a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America. It was a golden opportunity. Uh, like winning the lottery. 
so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is twenty twenty because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. And now he's dead and I just stabbed him bunches. Yeah, how do you did it? Wait, aim your weapon. Come back to the shotgun. Nice. <laughs> Hello, did it? Yeah. Wait. That's lame. You've managed to shoot every red tank thingy except the ones that actually explode this playthrough. No, nah, come on. I wish I was joking. Smart zombie beast still. Why, Dan? Okay, hold on. Something. Something's fucky in here. Lame. On the rules of antigens and ad adjuvants in vaccine synthesis, oh. It, it's Nathaniel Baird. Fuck this guy. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an antigen are required. The antigen produces an immune response with the effects of such as the vaccine base. The vaccine base will proprietary to produce 100,000 times yield and the effect of vaccine or infections. Cool. Wow. Fuck that guy. Nobody will remember his name. It's an override key, Jill. What does it override? <laughs> also, this is this is the nineties. It's very unlikely that she's e or seen a USB drive. The fact that they even I mean it's what? It's nineteen ninety nine? No, ninety eight. They, I don't think flash drives existed, at least not in the way, uh, no, I don't think flash drives existed in 98, at least not in the way they do in, um, RE2 make, which they, there is one. Okay. I was going to say they, they, they did. They weren't like sleek, like we know them today. They would have been big chunky bastards. Yeah. I mean like thumb drives like that. Yeah, one was shaped uh, like a goddamn badge. <laughs> no, they no, that was only later when every marketing thing ever was like, yo, why don't we have our USBs shaped like insert whatever here? I got one from, um, that was Damn. a game, Rogue something. Let me just look at it. Rogue Legacy. Oh, uh, there company. goes everything. I'm just the uh, other thing. I don't even want to fuck myself. Oh, whatever it is, it's lost the time. Uh, I have a <laughs> flash drive from Rogue Company shaped like a bullet. Oh. Never used it. 
God damn it. Stop it. Stop. Umbrella was decades ahead, it seems. Yeah, they were a leading edge research facility. Didn't you hear them? Hey, what the hell am I overriding? What's what's going on? Actually, did USB exist in 98? I know thumb drives as we know them didn't, but the USB, I don't um, think it did, but it may have. Remember Walkmans? I never owned one, but I do remember them. I had one at some point. Shit. Yes. Leading, all right, leading the human race into the rabid jaws of death. No. My first, uh... Oh, I wait. I want to say I had a big fuck-off stereo. Well, not big, but a fuck-off stereo. Uh, at one point, that was... I barely used. I had a tape player and a CD-ROM. Or rather, like a disk drive. Um, CD player. Yeah. Um, that, I had that and then I had a, oh. Come on, come on. What did I put like eight rounds into the fucker? Not enough. Apparently. I also had a standalone CD player. Those are my two like first music things. Surprise. Uh -oh. Yeah, I was worried about the other two. Beyond that, I had a an MP3 player that held, I think, 12 songs. Well, it rounded out to about 12 songs. It was called a Jam P3 player. Hell yeah. 12 songs. Damn, you were living the high life. Yeah. Culture sample. That, that's great. Fuck off. <laughs> what am I what am I hearing right now? Oh no. They're just gonna follow me, aren't they? Oh hey. Wait, is this the only thing up here? Watch with a USB connector and a mic jack to play music. Oh, hell yeah. That was spy shit, Dan. <laughs> Do Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutagen, granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate make it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. In any sort of system failure to occur, if any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the paleheads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and processing, Gabriel Reed. Is this... Hey, Gabriel. Hello, Oh, Gabrielle, you're right. You're right. High-powered re weaponry, is that... A lightning hawk is this high powered i don't know what's considered high powered so hey guys oh! <laughs> come on guys you, you were just turned your out. camera we were... away we were friends. right into oh his loving God. arms i dodged into him <laughs> Oh, you're just a normal one. He's not. Is 
this a way to go? Oh, it is. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Oh, fuck off. Goodbye. How? I'm caution, huh? Oh, whoops. It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with an ad adjuvant to enhance its effects, and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion. Give him a big old hug. Oh, I'll hug him, all right. What does that mean? With this shotgun shell. Am I full up? No. No, I'm not. Shotgun shells can't hug. They hug a lot of places all at once. Oh, hey. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Evander, for 84 months. Come to celebrate again the months that have passed. Wow. Dispelled. Delightful. You're far too kind. Okay, isn't it a zombie hickeys? Oh, it's a red herb. Red your herb. Eh, eh, eh. Hell yeah. Back in business. Oh, there goes the internet again. Oh. Yeah. Samples? Samples? Mamples? Cramples? Uh oh. Cranapple. There? Uh oh. God. That takes far too many. Far too many. I think they're just 12 gauge. Yeah, 12 yep. gauge. 12 gauge pump action shotgun. Like two and three quarters, maybe. Hey, Fade. Um, I'll wait still. That's, that's good. Oh. Huh. Are these, are these all variants of the fedora wearing boys? Are they chasing me around the facility like a dog boys? Was Mr. X a tyrant? He was. Is Dog Boy chasing me around the facility also considered a tyrant? Yes. Oh, no. Okay. What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. Is this where they're made? Yeah, I didn't know if they were both considered tyrants or if one was like, no, that's a very, it's called a this thing. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm kind of full up for explosives, so I guess I'll just... Wow, they serialize them and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Tyrant class.
classification involves the use of the T-virus in some capacity, and Nemesis technically falls into that category. Yeah, they serialize them, which is cool, but they use the same serials for each one, dumb idiots. It's going to get real confusing. <laughs> like with mods now, he's playing vanilla. I'm watching and basically hanging out while he goes through for the first time. He being Shay. Hello. <laughs> That's Shay. It is I. All right. I guess. Well, that was cool. That was a fun little field trip. Ah, oh, hell yeah. You got some saw and da. Okay, here I go. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh oh. What is considered high caliber? Or did it say high caliber or just high powered? The note specifically said high powered. Uh huh. What? Hmm. Did that work? That didn't work. Oh, come on, sir. Did he just do a thing? Did he, he did. also just punt me back the way I came? He did. Y you jackass. Oh, thanks, ghoul. Well, the good news is now I you have room. appreciate that. Hey, that's great. You absolute asshole. Stop. 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 Okay. Ah. Fuck that guy. Chips and cheddar sausage is delicious. Uh-oh. Sit down. Wow. Oh, load, he coming. Uh, let's see. A with B to make flame. A with A to make explosive. Ah, let's make some acid rounds. Uh-oh! Cripes! If that felt desperate, it's because it was. <laughs> All right. Wait, did I already load the acid rounds somehow? He did, somehow. Where's he going? I don't know. He's being real weird. What's the pale head doing? There, there he goes. All right. For science. Okay, that doesn't stop his regeneration. I am for science von again. Ein. It's true, he is. Oh my god, you have to spend magnum rounds on those fuckers? No thanks. I'll just you, avoid them. You don't have to. But uh they're tanky boys. Well, if it's between that and using up literally all my ammo forever, I'm going to not do that. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. I think a big part of it is yeah. they literally regenerate the longer you take not shooting them. Right. Dear fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research. Introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it, how could I not marvel at such a wild idea? 
However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely- Oh god, it's this fucker again. I, uh... I definitely wouldn't have read it like that if I had a note it was him. <laughs> oh, gunpowder. More gunpowder? Where's that? <laughs> Pina. I don't know who that is, but I'll, I'll take it as a compliment. Wait, do I combine these? What do I... Hell yeah. It's technically a vaccine, but it needs to be processed. Yes, there is equipment. It's back at the, the, the doodle. The doodle? Didn't work out very well. Oh no! You guys dead or? Uh oh. I think I heard the sound of more of my doom. Oh my god! I acided myself. I'm all acidy now. I guess it's a time-based thing, is it? Whew. Time to start knifing. <laughs> I would have, too. Am I... Yeah, everything's fine. A radio demon? That's me. Oops, oh, all pale. So hands. many of these bastards. It's okay, just that, that wasn't so bad. Could have been a lot worse. Wait. I did not go the right way. That's okay, though. It still works. Hey. Maybe I should bring some more shotgun rounds. Where's my shotgun rounds? There they are. Perfect. Guessing the shotgun has been your, your favorite so far. Um, it depends on the situation. I, I do like shooting me off a good grenade. Uh, but yeah, the, the shotgun is very utility. I mean, it's versatile. It's if you don't want to deal with a normal, you just pop it. It does good damage against the bigger boys. So it's, uh, it's pretty versatile. Um... Ha <laughs> ha! 
I can make I can make a good chunk of mag ammo if I wanted. I can just go around gunning people down with 44. <laughs> See, I'm like, oh, I could really make some mag ammo. I didn't even see that. Look at all this. <laughs> what do you think, Snake? Jerk call. Jerk gunpowder. See. Whoops. Shotgun is fun, and you can say Alec a blam. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's the freedom of the gunpowder system. To make whatever you want. Which is one of the biggest strengths of both the original and the remake. Freedom to use what you want for the most part. Right. I didn't even need to go in there. Where is the... There it is. Whoop! I don't know it's something I wanted in my mod, even though you can't do it in the actual RE1. That would have been cool. I guess that was that was tough. I I take it. What the hell is this? I don't know. Did I get anything about this? I'm just gonna wing it. What am I doing? They're all mid. Is that good? That's probably good, right? 50, 50. Maybe they got to all be within 50? I don't know. Ah, oh, that looked pretty good for a minute there. Oh, that looked, that looked good. Wait. I think I've almost got it. Damn it! Well then, <laughs> I guess I'm back where I started, huh? <laughs> Impressive. Scientist ever. Messages complete. Please remove the vaccine canister. Okay. How many, how many combinations were there? Oh. <laughs> Start slamming her fist in the console. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, forgot. To, why is this always? 
stabs herself through the throat by accident. Okay, well. Oh, it just says escape. All right. Guess I'll do that then. Oh, are there gonna be tentacles through the fucking vents? That's cool. I don't know, Kazora. I'm just, I'm just, I just do what I do and it works out. Uh oh. Chain Time reaction. To leave. Every other tank explodes. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Is this a rapid tap or a hold? Looks like a hold. Come on, internet, hold together. <laughs> if, if someone can clip my wonderful math skills, I'd appreciate it. Also, I, I really appreciate that the sample allowed me to hold A and it would just go all the way through. That was very good. Ow. Okay. Store in these. Yeah, if you haven't watched everything everywhere all at once, I, I I recommend it. Yeah, I have not. I've heard very good things and I would like to. We we were gonna go, uh interface myself in it, like we were we were gonna go see it, but it wasn't it didn't work for the schedule because we had a lot of things planned, but also it was just one of those like, oh, it's only playing today at like 3 p.m., which is when we're, you know, like just, mm -hmm. it just didn't work, but I would like to see it. How is this enough for the whole of Raccoon City? Okay, well, I guess I'll store this for now because like, I meant to use it on. I was going to use it on all those pale head boys, but. But I guess not. Oh, I got another one. Look at me go. I'm also pretty injured. But not injured enough. Agreed. <laughs> That's the last you'll see of him. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I swear I can do help with that shit. What? What? What are you helping with, Kappa? I appreciate that you took an extra, like, five seconds to try to parse through that. Just to make sure you weren't, what? uh, you reading that. There is a palpable silence where you tried. <laughs> I was... Yeah, I was trying to interpret. I was like, wait, am I an idiot? <laughs> Pretty few points in healing factor. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Look, that didn't even work for me. I respect that shit. <laughs> this facility. before beginning of the dissolution process always use the regulated amount of solvent regardless of the volume or mass being disposed of if a test subject reacts violently do not halt the disposal process leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours then check for complete dissolution before draining yeah hey cage it works slowly yeah damn slowly okay off we go then Giving me a lot of grenade launcher rounds, I'm noticing. You know? I 
Bit Snake. Thank you for 21 full months. Appreciated. Can somebody tell me where the hell Jill Valentine is in post RE5? Um, asleep. In Cancun, hopefully. Why do I? Thought I had more than that. Ah, whatever. Um, 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 um. I, I am one of the many people who want them to bring her back. It's not your Twitch caged. It's it's my end. I don't know if it's Parsec fucking up or something else. It's not you though. <laughs> he said roboting. Yeah. Workers break room, huh? Oh, what's what's here? Nothing. Nothing. Indeed. I was gonna say, here he here he comes. He's had enough. Boy, is he ever fast. Oh, crunch. There goes her spine. Oh, what do we have here? Nikolai, don't. The city needs it was vaccine. really just Nikolai. That's cool. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, settle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dark. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Turns around and just shoots him. Nikolai has the power of always being in the most convenient location? Yes. I don't know that I brought enough healing for this. Oh. Oh, okay. That's, uh... Oh! Oh. oh I wonder if that continues to do damage uh Oh, he wound up, I fucked up Yeah Alright, well obviously I'm gonna have to redo this Oh my god This fight I hope that didn't hurt me. Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me Carlos. Start. Good idea. Carlos! Uh. Oh, here he goes. Watch it. You've got company. No, that didn't really work, did it? Her? Oh, I, I didn't bring the the mines. Cool. Oh, I missed. He moved. Fight made you rage real hard. Oh, 
That's not good. Where? I'm sure that's fine. Is there healing? Oh, there is. That's cool. Um, I guess I lose. Oh, or not. Okay, that seemed pretty like it would kill me, but I guess not. He's just built different. Uh oh. I don't have time for you. Also, are they doing the stupid camera thing again? 100%. That's stupid. That That's what I would mod out. That was rude. Uh oh. Whoa. I got pancaked. This is so dumb. <laughs> the camera thing is so dumb. Stop. Stop. You just slashed my back literally a second ago. Okay, I'm dead. He being a big jerk. He's even mad at the other ones. Wait. No, I don't think I can do that. Here comes some more. Number five. Oh God. Slide to the left. Oh my God. Slide to the right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my God. Oh God. Please stop. Oh. Yeah. There she goes. No, fuck, no, get out of here. Game mode setting cannot be changed, but no. Okay. All right. This time, I'll just bring everything. And have a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> no one uh no one comment on this in chat what i'm about to say because he he can't hear me and i don't want to give anything away <laughs> but um oh, yeah. his propensity uh, to not shoot the obvious red target is incredible to me microphone activated okay that seems good what else do i got here Acid, fire, explosive. Is it? Uh, question. If I if I hit him with the fire round, right? And he's like burning with the fire. Hitting him with another fire round. Does that like not do anything? Like it might damage him a little bit. But is it like a huge waste to not wait until the fire goes out? They have. I don't know if uh, like I don't think it stacks, but it does. Like, the time will stack. Yeah, I don't think you get compounded damage, but you still have the initial explosion, which does damage. Right. Okay. So I suppose I'll stretch. Hmm. 
suppose. I'll hydrate as well. Okay. I can't decide if I want pizza rolls or um, soup and sandwich. I don't know what kind of soup I have, though. I need to check. I say go with the soup and sandwich. Perhaps. Hydrating is so hot. I hope not. I don't like drinking hot water. Unless it's like tea. Finger food or filling. Eat enough pizza rolls. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> What's that? Those grenades. Can I? Can you dodge follow up attack with a grenade and just like stick it at him like just? Oh, detonates after a short period of time. That's that's unfortunate. enough pizza rolls you basically eaten a pizza I mean technically but that sounds awful okay about the ketos instead of pizza I don't have the ketos they are solid though Oh, wait, I'm, what do I have in there? Um, can I, uh, can I skip the cutscene? Yes. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I almost got caught up on that pile of crap. You did. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't, oh I, don't I do not know why they did the camera like this. Uh oh. Bomb. Oh, god damn it. Right? Yeah, it sucks. There is a mod, but uh Yeah, fall over and be killed. You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. One whole Jesus. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there he goes. Probably had he, huh? Go ahead. He, he probably had iframes during some of that, but whatever. Oof. Okay, that one's on me. Oh, oh, get out of here. I'm doing something. I Get out of here! Oh what? my oh, god! Hi, buddy! We're bad doggy! Oh! He's so mad at me! Well, yeah. I get it, but goddamn. Uh oh. I missed. He didn't. Uh, what the fuck? 
Get combo. Uh, hello? What is happening? Oh, that. My God. Dude. Don't fuck around. No, apparently not. God damn it. There, got him that time. Bastard. Come on! Come on! Not like that! The Tokyo oh, wow. Drift. Yeah, that was bullshit. Oh, cheeky devil. Oh, fuck. What am I loaded? What's loaded here? Flame rounds. Oh. you to stop everything's everything's got no ammo in it <laughs> wait oh okay here comes a crane use it to climb up o or just grab it There you go. Thanks, Carlos. Now get on. You totally could have shot those, by the way. Oh, yeah. I did. I did the first time. Didn't shoot the, the red squares. Where's the, the glowy the game teaches bits? You to shoot. The game teaches you to shoot the zappy boys all throughout the game. And then when the zappy boys light up and you shoot them, it's like, oh, nothing happens. <laughs> anyway, we dissolve that guy. We're just going to have to leave it 12 hours. That's right, Jill. Load up six of those puppies. We consider the shake and not see the color ready. He definitely doesn't like shooting the obvious red things. I have to get that but I think that's because you like the color red so much. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Okay. Well, I used a good amount of this. That's all good. Give me that burst model back. Um... That's fine. I don't have any shotgun rounds, do I? No, I don't. How about I take out this? Thunk, 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 thunk. What else do I got? I get some flame rounds. Store this. Fade. Two on that. Okay. And gunpowder, explosive, explosive, explosives, but a handgun round. Eh, I'll take some of those. Well, I'll use the handgun for a minute if I can. How about I save so that I don't have to go back before that fight? Also, where was Nikolai that whole time? Passions was on. <laughs> Project title. Ferromagnetic infantry use next generation railgun. Oh, hell yeah. Finger. Nest 2 lead researcher, Cornell Garner. United States Army. 60 millimeters. Lots. Suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. 
Extreme firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants that align, just give them the finger and problem solved. Packs the firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate to a single power source? I don't get it yet, do I? Oh. Oh, good night, Pyra. Don't die, Miss Pyra. Oh, the chat was up so fast. I thought I, I thought I missed it by like five minutes, but I, I was still pretty all right. <laughs> Take it easy. I must be near the end anyway. Are you just gonna like bonk me down into the the railgun facility, dude? Oh wait, should I have healed? Also, oh, I didn't put those back in their the drawer. Whoops. Store that, store that. Couple of those. Not the most efficient, but I feel like I'm nearing the end, so I don't care. Okay. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You need money. I like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. No? Why? Why would I do that? <laughs> I mutated again. It's a big turd. Too bad it's gonna kill you. Uh, you know how it is. Shit is about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck, Nikolai. Yo. Go after Nikolai. Yo, He's Carlos. Maybe. Me. Yeah. And what about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look. Just so you know. This is the last fucking time. Ha. Huh. I, uh, I probably should have loaded up with more shit. I didn't do that. Yo, can I... Oh, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. It's an anime now. Okay. Damn, it needs power. Yeah, that takes a minute. Uh oh. Bonk. Okay. Bonk. Sir, can you stop? Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there she goes. He was still eating her, by the way. <laughs> I thought I'd just power through that and yeah. then heal. <laughs> it didn't really work out. I'm just going to go ahead and store this shitter pistol again. And, uh, <clears throat> How dare you store the shit still? Stuff. This shit still indeed. All right, so let's let's give this another try. Where is uh You're like oh I'm low on ammo. I guess some... I'll just make hundreds of rounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. Let's just let's just power on through this like this. We'll do like that. Combine that. Combine that. And he's just playing with his kill doll. I'm actually kind of upset. The only um, out of the re or rather, I have the RE2 make collector's edition. I have a village collector's edition. So I have the the Leon figure and the Chris figure. I didn't get a chance to get the Jill or the RE3 one because scalpers took them all. Hmm. It's the one that I don't have, and it's the one that I wanted the most. That is an explosive all look done. <laughs> well. I do have a green herb. Good for me. It's not gonna, I don't think it'll, yeah, it only puts me to fine, but that's okay. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? And to create flame, two A's make it explosive, right? Yeah. Ah. Ah. There we go. Oh, I'm going to have to put that away, actually, for just one moment. I like fire rounds. They look cool. <laughs> Shit. Hmm? dropped something now I can't find it now I found it I'm not gonna need this knife I'll take out these mine right this is gonna be this is gonna be a hell of a thing oh wait hmm Anything? Wait, that shotgun's only got two rounds in it. Why am I even? Uh. Oops. And is there anything else that I need to take? I want to know just how much handgun ammo you would end up with if you mixed all of those. How many do you have? There's one more on the thing over there, too. Oh, okay. So, so 90. 90 handgun rounds plus what it, what's in them. Plus 21. 90, uh, 111, right? And then 45, right? 111, 100 and... Uh, what, 114 with the three? 119, 159, 159 rounds of handgun. What am I putting in the last thing here? Eh, I'll just put the burst model, why not? 
He's, uh, he's doing the thing, Nick. How'd raiding go? Okay. Oops. One. Two. Three. Now I'll use this. It's your boy. I jerk. Open it faster. Hello. Ah, so kind of him to wait. That's just a cutscene, isn't it? Yeah. Doesn't matter where I hit him. No. Wow. about to be rude keep letting them now it's fine okay it's not fine now it's fine uh-oh reload There we go. Pardon me. Excuse me, sir. Could you move your hand, please? He's oh, going to. Nice. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Ah! Is that just an instant kill or oh <laughs> Your hubris. I cannot believe. So that's just a grab, huh? You're just dead. Yep. That's cool. That's good to know. Game Fucking punishes hell. you for ignoring its mechanics. No, I wanted to. Fuck the game's mechanics. That's what I mean. It punished you for it. Okay, we're going to try this again. I'm doing the exact same strategy. All right. Hey, shit bird. Take this. Double whammy. Uh. Don't acid me. Oh, wow. Ah. Bonked. Oh. Couldn't get lucky that time. Get the man grabbed. Oh my god. Can we skip this part? Can we just... Okay. I thought he did it as a function of what happened before. Like, I thought he did it because he got back up. God damn it. All right. Third time's the charm. This is the sir, fourth. Sir. 
No, it's not. Did he just Mr. President? What do you hey. Oh. Asshole. Oh god, is he doing it? Yep. He's doing it. Fuck. And again. Are you kidding? He did it twice in a row? He just does it twice in a row. He'll do it what as many times asshole. as it takes. What an absolute asshole. I can't believe that. He just repeated the exact same command. Now that's fine. All right. Fine game. I'm gonna go this way. How come it's not? Yeah, pop those. Sock and boppers. Sock and boppers. Oh my God. He did it from the other side? This is stupid. Fine. Fine. I'll do the stupid mechanics of the stupid game. Apparently, he can just do it from the other side, too. Dumbass game. Won't let you play it your own way. Makes you do the thing at the end. All right, where's your little fucking tumor? Oh, right. Any old day now. You are right, he does have multiple hands. Oops, all hands. Direct hits. Uh -oh. One, two. Buckle the shoe. I'd be angry too. That's fair. There. Okay. Do this fight now on Inferno. Grab me. Piece of shit. I never want to play Inferno again. Why does he just have crap tons of HP or? He attacks insanely he fast. Like he, he, his speed is basically like tripled. Oh. And he, uh, he requires you to use the dodge in order to survive. Cause you basically get one hit killed. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's not great. Did I pop that one? Oh, look at me go. Uh. Oh, I missed. You did. <laughs> Imagine that just flattens me. On Inferno, it does. <laughs> Here we go. Cast it and find out. <laughs> I 
Why did it only have one shot before? It was low battery then. <laughs> Who left it that way? Who put it back in its cradle at you low see, battery? You see the state of this place? I mean, it was pretty clean before, before I got here and it burst through the thing. I don't know. All right, well. That's done now. Oh no, Palace. I do appreciate that the first one actually left a hole as well. Wait, look up again. Where, where's the gun? Where's the gun? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's the first time you like <clears throat> shot his carapace or whatever. Where? Where the hell's the gun? Did the gun explode? Oh no, she did. Okay, it's here. Oh, it's tethered. That's okay. Why is it giving me fade? Oh no. <laughs> Aren't we done here? Oh no. Did that Wait, say three? three? Grenades. Yeah. They give you three? Looks like it. Jill's mom gives her three grenades? <laughs> I'm fine, but I'll take this fade so that I can pick up my three grenades. That's cool. And gun ammo. What else? What else we got? What's over here? Man, it's giving me a lot of stuff. I'm a handgun ammo, handgun ammo. All the stuff fade. you ignored during the actual boss fight. Oh, was that from the boss fight? Oh, I was like, oh, do I have to like run out and there's going to be a bunch of zombies? Cause here, hold on. Okay. Auga. Oh shit. Oh, is there extra stuff? Or can I just, can I just leave? <laughs> I'm leaving the facility. I guess not, huh? It's like from Outbreak. No, there's no other way yes, to go. It? Okay. Which one? What? I can still catch him. Boy, what part of Outbreak? Okay, I'm like, don't do this to me again. <laughs> With the with the moths, with the when you go to okay. the facility, the lab, yeah, and there's the. I like that there are meat canals you could can just walk through. <laughs> That's a sentence. You're not going to stop. Promise your best. No, no, don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And there is my team. Okay. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Ah, uh, good thing he didn't kill him. For some reason. Sorry, no. no it's 
Did, I, did I hit him? Okay, Thanks now. for the raid and howdy to all of you. But did it not matter? Maybe you should do something about him. Hello to all of you. I was leak. Microphone activated. There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. Money. It was money. I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. <laughs> Damn, that was cold. Hell yeah. Good thing Carlos can fly that. Can you imagine? <laughs> Straight up a headshot. I thought so too. I was gonna say, I have a hard time believing that wouldn't fuck up the helicopter. <laughs> Red barrels. <laughs> Damn you, palace. What are you, Peter Pan, Nat? Decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them once and for all. But you're never gonna see that ever. More like Rubble City. <laughs> That's so rude. Barrels were umbrella spies. Oh, well, how do you feel? Yeah, it was good. How do you uh how do you feel about it in relation to RE2? RE2 felt a lot more puzzly. Like it, it felt a lot more like, oh, you got to get the gem to do the thing and combine this or check this area or whatever, right? This one felt a lot more like pushed along to the next objective. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. fuck Carlos. Ah! Fuck Shadow. Wow. Oh, you mean. You get no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, the original is very much um, in the same vein as the others when it comes to, like, you have all the puzzles and the key items and all that stuff. It is more action-y. You still have the various weapons and the gunpowder to make ammo for them. And Nemesis is a thing. Nemesis in the original is a persistent thread like Mr. X is in, uh, right. in RE2. To this, he was... But yeah, even with its more action, I don't, go ahead. 
I, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Like just in terms of fatigue of like every time being like, and it follows and it follows. And it's like, yeah, I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's fine. But every game it's like, nah, it's nice to just go through. Um, but it also didn't feel like for this one, maybe there was enough there. Like you, you go through and you kind of like fall all over the place, kind of running away from it. And then when you get onto the umbrella stuff, it's like, okay, cool. Let's, let's go in and make a vaccine. And it didn't matter. Like it, it's very, I don't know. And then like Dr. Bard is just an asshole who I don't really feel anything for. Like it doesn't really, it doesn't hit. You know what I mean? I'm not like. I'm not like edge of my seat wanting to know or figuring it out, you know? <clears throat> yeah, they, they speed and along. Carlo, Carlos and Jill have... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, they, they speed along certain plot points just with the pacing of this game. It's naturally going to be a bit on the faster side getting through everything. Like, Carlos in the original doesn't even go to the RPD. It's Jill. And it's at the beginning mm. of the game. So they, uh, there's also an entire clock tower segment filled with puzzles that you go through in the original that they, they just skipped straight to the boss fight in this one. Don't even see it. It was a decent run through. It is the only... And yeah, uh, I would point to things... Sorry. No, go ahead. I would point to things like, yeah, like the characterization of Jill is good in this game, I would say. And so, like, that's a strength, but... It's also, yeah, I, I, I don't want to use the word forgettable, but it, it is, like, really not much happened, <laughs> you know? Like... Not much happened or really mattered, even it seems like. <clears throat> and that's only compounded by like, I, I know because I've been around you and uh, and like, you know, chat and everything, right? But it's like, it's not like there's an immediate or even distant follow-up as far as Jill goes, right? Like she says what she says at the end and then it's like, cool. Maybe in Resident Evil 10. <laughs> well, I mean, she is doing, like, you have Revelations 1 and you have RE5 with uh, the events of those games. Like, Jill is technically doing things. You just don't really get to yeah, see she, much of it. She's there, but she's like evil Zero Suit Samus in 5. <laughs> but you have uh, the Lost in Nightmares DLC where you play as Jill and Chris. We did that looking for Wesker but yeah it's a very very it's a blip it's a ripple in a lake ready for some serious fear with Nemesis but he's just not a problem yeah as much as I appreciate what they did with Fari to make and Mr. X I really wish they had The original, Mr. X was contextual, like uh, Nemesis is in this one. He was mostly, not necessarily story beats, but like uh, game progress beats. So you pick up a key item, you burst through a wall, etc. And then you either down him or run out the room and you don't see him again until the next time that happens. Uh, in right. the original RE3, Nemesis was like Mr. X in RE2 make, where he sort of he had, he was also sort of uh, context and story driven, but um, it was more like in chunks. So you'd do something and he'd be around and he'd follow you through areas until you did something else, like until you hit the next objective and he disappeared for a bit, but he, he would be around for much right. longer. Um, so their roles were reversed in the remakes. 
Mr. X is persistent in RE2 make Nemesis as a set piece, basically, in this. Yeah. So there's a lot of disappointment that stems from that switch. The, uh, the gun felt silly with Nemesis, the, like the flamethrower and stuff. He has a rocket in the original. He doesn't have a flamethrower. Yeah. Well, he had a rocket in this one, too, but it was all like, again, it was like, it felt like molasses. It was a nerf he'd gun. like point it at you and then go, ha, and then not shoot. And you're like, I should be dead. <laughs> you know, like, oh, hey. Goops out some of the gooey vaccine inside. I'm sorry, who just took that? Was that Jill? Yep. It was just lying there and she was just like, yep, it's the case. Oh, hell yeah, I'm a solid C student. I imagine my uh, my four or five deaths at Nemesis at the end probably downgraded me a little, huh? <laughs> Uh, it, when I compare it to the original, it's disappointing, but it's also the only one out of the three remakes so far that I've 100%ed. I've platinum. And to that end, uh, hit start. Oh no, I'm dying. You are? Uh, hit start. The shop. The shop. Yeah. They they incentivize replays and higher difficulties with the shop. And all of these things. Like it's uh they made it pretty fun. You can get shortcuts, you can get uh, extra space right off the gate. Different weapons, etc. Infinite mop. Yeah. <laughs> Is this just like it doesn't need reloading? It needs reloading, but he just says infinite ammo. Yeah, like in reserve. Mm. Infinite rocket launcher. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, the blade can be super heated. That's cool. Neat. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I also enjoyed the game as a very casual Resident Evil person. I just don't think it had it was fun to play but like story wise and everything i just don't think it had a lot of substance which i mean i'm sure is a common criticism for resident evil in general but like that's that also falls very much in line with the original like it uh, the story beats are pretty much identical um they're like you basically play through and escape the city you you try to to get a thing it doesn't work out so you, you, it's basically Jill escaping the city. So not a whole lot happens in the grand scheme of the universe, but it's a game. And the remake well, follows I mean, you. I mean, or even in the, yeah, the grand scale of the universe, or even if in just the micro of, of, you know, why did you do it? Money. Who do you work for? Wouldn't you like to know? Y yes. I played through the whole game. I fucking would. <laughs> like... Yeah, that'd be nice. I hope, I hope that in credit thing they did was an illusion. I hope that was the shape of things to come. I hope they do more with it because the potential has always been there for that sort of uh, like corporate intrigue, umbrella, conspiracy shenanigans that they never 
like they kind of explore it technically with they like uh, flirt with it and then yeah. they're like oh i'm not ready for a serious commitment <laughs> yeah like you sort of get into it in the non-canon light gun games that they released for like the mm. wii that they've ported elsewhere <laughs> but um yeah by and large they sort of neglect that aspect of the series and it's always bothered me right it's exactly like you said yes i would like to know and i would love to see the characters tackle that sort of thing instead of just reacting when shit happens around them all the time <laughs> yeah and even in re6 a game that it spans multiple campaigns with characters being technically proactive, like in in where they are in their character arcs, like Chris's BSAA, Leon's Secret Service, Sherry's Sherry, working for the government, doing <laughs> something, seeking so out. Like they're all doing things, but they're still all just reacting what's happening around I, I do agree with that if every resident evil game i played it is it is always felt like and i get that that's part of the like oh no zombies are like oh no what crazy bioweapon did they come up with this month but also yeah it never feels like they're in the driver's seat as far as like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna root out evil i'm gonna i'm gonna go after umbrella or i'm gonna even like clean up this mess it's always just defensive reactionary like oh no things are happening for re1 that makes sense for re2 that makes sense even for re3 like it's escape the city survive like that makes sense go veronica to it yeah i would say that makes sense for go veronica as well but everything past that it's uh well re4 is dubious but uh five is like four onward, the characters are shit kickers by design. And it still feels like they have no real agency. Yeah. Makes me sad. Well, on that depressing note, I hope <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the run through though. What did I you mean, think, Snake? Yeah, I thought you did all right. I still cannot believe you didn't shoot in a single explosive barrel. Like the one thing that video games have taught us to shoot. Shot everything else that was red. How do you got against red tank thingies? They need to suffer. I, don't... I was quite happy with what I did. Yeah, it worked out. I clearly didn't need to do any of that stuff. Same with the boss fight. Minus like all you... the goddamn... Hmm? Go ahead. I was just going to say, minus all the goddamn times I thought I, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll knife this zombie to end him, and then they fucking get up and get me. You did that many times, and I could not believe it yeah. each time. I always thought, I always thought as I was doing it and slashing them, I'm like, it'll go down before it gets me. Your hubris. They didn't. So, funnily enough, as Carlos, um, he doesn't get a dodge, but he gets like a counter punch where you'll basically ram into a zombie. And if you do it at the right timing, like Jill's roll, you will thrust punch an enemy away. And he hits hard. <laughs> But uh, you okay. can also use that in conjunction with enemies on the ground. So you could knock them down, stab, stab, stab. And when they start to get up, use that tackle and it'll knock them right back down. So it's an infinite loop of stabbing and it's very funny. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Good night, Havander. Take care, Havander. Gonna call it soon, too. Also, uh, you dodged a bullet. Oh. The only time it got close to happening was your first encounter with a hunter. They can instant kill you. If you break their oh. face, 
they can instant kill you, and they often will attempt it once you break their face, but only after you break their flight they have armor uh, just on their, their face parts. And if you shoot it, go for headshots, it does more damage, you'll kill them faster, but they become significantly more aggressive. And you broke that first one by accident. When it did the lunge, you were facing away from it, running away, and you didn't even notice. You nearly died. <laughs> yeah, I honestly didn't know. I didn't know that any of the hunters had insta kills. They they honestly were just fun to fight. <laughs> like every time I fought them, I was just doing shit. I was like, oh, I'm gonna shotgun it down, or oh, I'm gonna shoot it with the thing, or I'm gonna knife it to death, and it all just. None of it ever felt like, oh, no. <laughs> so I guess that was completely by accident. I I don't think I ever ran the one that dropped down through that skylight after you left Bard's lab or whatever it was, the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I've never not shot that one, so I didn't know that it left that room. Yeah, I guess he goes and hangs out in the hall because he did, did not want to come back into that skylight room. <laughs> no. That's okay. I made up for the hunter one shots with Nemesis at the end. Trying to brute force the game. I respect it. I just it. didn't want to play it their way. I just wanted to fucking do it and have it be... And, you know, if I was stubborn about it, I probably could have. Yeah, it just would have taken a little longer. It would have taken longer. And then and it was just the whole, like, it was just the whole double, uh -huh. the double up, the, the fucking grab, and then the second grab. It, and and it, it, would, it felt like reactionary because I'm like, all right, I'll go over to the right side. And it's like, surprise, I still do that grab there. And I was like, fine, fine. The game is literally like, like air traffic controller into doing the mechanic it wants me to do so fine good night hat don't die be at it yeah it is it is time for me to call it as well but it's fun though it's a good time yeah I'm i am sure you'll put me through the next one at some point what am i on now seven then i mean you have your pick honestly you have well maybe you don't have your pick Cove Veronica is technically the next in line in terms of like chronology after six after um after three when did it release God, 2000? Uh, no, I mean, but like, did it release after three or? Yeah, it released after three in terms like the original. Uh, but in terms of like the timeline, it goes CVX, then four, five, six, uh, seven. Oh, I guess I didn't play four, did I? You did not. Yeah, we skipped over it. We did five and six, so. Yeah. Uh, although, am I just going to wait for a remake of four? It's As, your call. I'm like, I, I isn't, they said they were doing that, right? Yeah. That's coming out in March. Oh, I think original four is definitely worth playing. It is Harold. It is like one of the best, if not the best by many people. Um, I am not one of them, but I, I can appreciate it for what it is. It is a, it's a good game. And it is, it's responsible for a lot of trends we saw in video games going forward. So that alone, I think, mm. warrants or like makes okay. it uh, worth playing. That said, the remake is a thing. So if you wanted to wait, it's your call. Yeah, if it comes out pretty soon. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Cool. Let's do. Get oh, the no. hell out of my computer. Yeah, I... <laughs> oh.
Oh, crack. All right, everyone. I hope you have a good rest of your week. I don't have any shenanigans happening this weekend, I don't think. So I guess I will see you on Monday. And I'll figure out what, uh, what we're going to do. We're either going to be doing XCOM or Dogma. So I kind of want to do XCOM because the, uh, the internet shittery. We were like mid-mission. Yeah, I just have. I will see you then. Oh, my internet's still doing the thing, even with the. Uh... So it wasn't parsec. <laughs> oh. I will. Well, I'll, I'll have a bit of time to test things. D and D is also tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll have this sorted tomorrow. Uh -huh. That oh, we'll see. Knowing my luck, absolutely not. Mm. Give a very fragmented goodbye, Snake. Oh, am I dying? Y goodbye. You were, yeah, at the tail end of what you said there. Well. <laughs>